Tell me what's going on here. Oh, yeah, bro. It's Ben. Why didn't you? Why didn't you text me or anything? Because we're talking about COD, Ben. Yeah, I'll talk about COD. Like, hello. All right, then welcome to the flank, Ben. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, bro. How are you doing? I'm doing Wait, pretty did good. You, did you start recording right here? What's good? Huh? Did you start already? Ben, Ben, you gotta have to make. You're gonna have to make your announcement now. Now. Well, your I, mic I is dog shit. Now. What do you mean you have to let me know? Oh. Uh, do, you want, do you want me to? Doug actually, is you're... frozen. Doug is frozen Doug's on your frozen stream. Doug, he's frozen. Oh shit! Charlie I know why. No, no, you're good. You're good. I know why. You're good now, am Doug. I, am, I, am I doing it now? Yeah, Ben, make your make your uh you make your announcement because because I've got nonstop drama over all this, so you're gonna have to it's make your announcement. Drama. Yeah, no, exactly. So, Let them know. Shush. Clear the air. Clear the air. So, so uh, let me switch to my better mic first off. Oh, so that's it. Come on. <laughs> No, because it's because I'm on my headset. clear the air, oh, Ben. Because the rumor uh, on the street is that I fired you. No, that's not what happened. Thank you. Can you please let them know what's going on here? So, so the situation is, as you guys know, um, I got promoted at work a couple months ago, uh, and these guys know it's super fucking busy at work right now. So, uh, I was talking with Tom the last like couple of weeks and looking at kind of my 2022 schedule, looking at his schedule. Like, I don't want to put Tom in a position where because of work, because of travel, I'm just not going to be able to make a majority of the shows. So I talked to Tom and uh, kind of my decision is as of January 1st, I'll be stepping down as a co-host of the show. I'm um, going to still be around to kind of help Tom guide the vision of the show that I know him and I worked hard to kind of make last year uh, or this year rather. I'm sorry about that. Um, but as of January 1st, uh, assuming we do a show on December 31st, that will be my last show as the official co-host of The Plank. And listen, Chad, we obviously love Ben, man. Ben's the Ben's the GOAT, man. We love Ben Janaseem. You know what I'm saying? And Ben's gonna and still going to be... Ben, you'll be in shows here or there, right? Like, you'll still be coming into shows yeah, and, and stuff like the, that. I'll be on definitely on the occasional show. Um, he'll be, he he just can't position, commit. Yeah, he can't commit because the, the co-hosts, I, we're also... You know, we're paying the co-hosts every month. So if, if Ben feels like he can't do it full time, you know, that's that's on Ben. And obviously, Ben, we're super happy for you because you got the promotion. You're doing big things over at Esports Engine. So, you know... Regardless, you'll be on shows from time to time. Um, but Ben, we really appreciate everything that you've done over here. You know that on the flank. You know that you're well, no, you're, it, you're, you're a staple to the flank. You always will be a staple to the flank. None of this would ever be possible without you. And uh, through the after the first year of everything, I think we really you really kickstarted this thing with me. And uh, you know here we are, Ben. You know so the the flank is uh, you know is always here for you whenever you want to come on or or spit some bullshit. You know what I'm saying, Ben. Whenever yeah, you want to come I on. You. I got you, brother. I think I'll still be on the occasional show. Yeah, you'll but, still be on. I know you. But, you'll uh, still be from, around. From, from the from the co-host side, I didn't want to put you in a tough spot. So you and I have been talking about this for a while. Yeah, we've been talking about to, it. I was supposed to tweet about it this week, but I guess I guess we're just doing it on yeah, the show. Yeah, a lot, a lot of things, a lot of assumptions being made going, getting flown around. So, so there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cap in the chat. I it's feel like why we had the show up today, it was a perfect opportunity for you to say yeah. something. Because I know you were waiting for that opportunity. So, you know. And obviously, we love you, bro. We fucking love you. Best Appreciate luck to you at Esports Engine. The Flank is always here for you. And the Flank is here for you today, Ben. But we got a new co-host on the show today, and it's Doug Sensor Martin. Let's give it up for Mr. Doggy Fresh. Let's get a wet to the chat. Let's show him some love, man. Doug, how Ooh, you doing baby. today? You got no shirt on. Always, bro. It's a new gimmick. Yeah, it's a new gimmick. I kind of fuck with it. Are you just rolling with it? Because people just, you know, they're fucking with it, you know? So why not? I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I kind of just did it to do it, and then... He became like a thing, right? And then two days ago, I was like, you know what? I don't feel like being shirtless. It's, you know, let me put a shirt on today. Mm -hmm. I put a shirt on, got fried. You got like, fried, dude. You know what? I got fried. I was like, I'm not you doing gotta it. Keep I'm, it I'm staying off. shirtless, bro. Yeah, I'm you got to keep it off, bro. At this point, it's a gimmick. It's also, don't, hopefully you don't get too cold in here. We got snow going on here in the flank today for a little Christmas vibe. Tony, you love the Christmas vibes, don't you? I do. What's going on, Tony? I felt that Tony! was your day. There you go, Tony. What's going on, Tony boy? What's How you going doing? On, kid? That was your introduction. You just kind of, you know, you gave me nothing there. But that's well, all right. I was, I'm sorry. I was on me. Tommy! Tony, boy, what's going on? Absolutely, man. Doug, you look great, man. Mm -mm. Dude, Doug, likewise, dude, I just pulled your stream up and I put it on my right screen so I could see you. So I see everybody Thank you. now. Thank oh, you. nice. Thank you. That's beautiful. And then under uh, Mr. Tony, boy, we got Mr. Duarte Parasite, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Chris, to the flank. What's going on, Chris? What's good, boys? Nothing, What's happening, not much, man? Just What's happening? You've been scrimming? You've been... Some cod. Hell yeah, man. How's, how's it going uh, down there scrimming and shit? I heard you talking about it a little bit yeah, before we started. Fun. I like my team. Team's good, but obviously. Well, we're going to talk about cod here soon. So who's, I'll, uh, I'll who's on your team? 
Well, uh, royalty, exotic, and uh, diamond con. And and no, no, be, and before we listen, we naturally got into it. That's why I didn't want to run the intro, guys. We're no no intro. We'll just we'll just upload it. The intro's not gonna make or break the fucking thing. All right, we'll run it for the one time. We'll be right back. Hear it? Can I hear us doing it? Doing it? I'm, I'm assuming no, they can I hear muted, us. No, I muted you guys during it. Uh, the, the, the stallion thing it. is so sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah no, nah, but, but we're going we're gonna to upload all that, Ben. We're going to upload all that. <laughs> all you know right, what I'm enough, saying? Enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're just doing it for the laughs. You know, we'll upload it all. I'm sure Vals is in here now. Vals, you know when to start the show. Start the show from from the announcement of Ben Genesim. But Ben, it's nice to have you here as well, my man. What you been doing today? Thank you. Uh, really busy. I have been traveling for like two weeks, so I went home. Um... Then I was in LA for a week. You and I connected while we were out there. Uh, really enjoyed that LA weather, and now I'm back in freezing Columbus, Ohio. Uh, yeah, where it might snow tomorrow. We, so. went to a, we went to a football game together. Me and Ben. We went to the Rams game. Alex Rubin got us the tickets. Shout out to yeah, Alex Rubin, Alex. man. That guy's the go for that. The stadium is is nuts, by the way. Yeah, I've never been to a stadium where it's so far like underground. You walk in and you're on like the third level. Of the yeah, stadium. Is that it was so, so weird. Yeah, yeah SoFi Stadium it was very weird. It was, that's uh, super, super sick inside, though. The screen, like, that's on the, around the, the top of the stadium is actually wild. Mm -mm. I see a lot of people coming in. They're talking about a hitch tweet. I mean, we could talk about it uh, right away. Um, but we have... Uh, oh, Davis wants to come in, I think. Maybe. Talking about being a co-host. Uh, he also tweeted something here that I think we could kickstart this, uh, this show off. Uh, hitch Davis came out and said, Vanguard <laughs> so far has been a complete spit in the face to competitive Call of Duty. I'd much rather have an official press release from Activision explaining how little they care about the future of the eSport. Most watched console eSport in the world at one point, sad. I think we could kick it off right there with Mr. Davis' tweet. Um, obviously, uh, Parasite, you've been screaming a little bit and uh, just curious to get your thoughts on the game because you don't seem too enthusiastic, that's for sure. Not when you came in here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been pretty vocal about it on Twitter. Yeah, uh, you have. Like, it's probably the only thing I've really like tweeted about besides my New World streams. To be honest, it's uh, it's pretty fucking disgusting uh, to like play this game and realize the product that's been put out, especially when we know they've had quite a, a bit of time to work on the game, at least speculatively. But mm -hmm. um, obviously, with things going on in the company of Activision. Um, and poor decisions uh, made over there. It's kind of expected that they're going to be they're going to continue to put out worse and worse products. And like there's there's stories, you know, about people not wanting to come into work and 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 then protests, walkouts, blah blah blah. Anyways, but besides that, going towards the game in general, it's fucking dog shit. It's literally a worse version of Modern Warfare with a World War II skin mm -hmm. and. It's it's pathetic. The, the the maps were the maps are just terrible. The movement speed doesn't match the like the pacing of the map. So like the maps are designed right, but the movement speed doesn't match like the way the map should flow. Like Bo Bokage is an example. If you okay, play, okay. it's a fucking mess. It's, it's full, full speed adrenaline. It literally is fucking shipment, and it, it's just it's it's terrible. It's small. The spawns so small. the spawns are terrible. The maps they 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 manage. So the one thing that as competitive players that we despise besides the spawns that we hated it that we despised was the doors right no one fucking liked doors right they managed to make windows into doors <laughs> you know the windows are annoying as them. fuck the windows suck bro on top of the destructible the walls and stuff like that so like they just they made every sort of noobish mechanic in cod that they added for modern warfare and they amplified it to a degree that made it it's it's literally borderline unplayable, mm -hmm. and it's a fucking shit show. And, at least that's just my basic take on it. And, and at first, like I in the beginning, I was like, I don't really want to do a show based on that. I don't want the show to just become like that, where we're just trashing the game and this and that. But I, at the same time, I feel like the show is a good platform to speak about things like this and you know make some of this shit public because I feel like enough is enough. No, Chris. Um, I feel like at this point, people are just getting fed up. I think you made a comment to me saying that you don't see this shit going for more than two more years. And I'm because you, you think a lot of people are just gonna switch over to Warzone. And, and and this is this is this is game aside, right? Like it could be a good Call of Duty, right? In its current state, Warzone pulls more viewers, right? There's a buy-in into the league. There's not a fucking buy-in into Warzone tournaments and just being a Warzone content creator, which is reaching more people. 
right? Mm -hmm. Why would you invest in the Call of Duty League? Why would you put all this money into it when you can sign multiple content creators for the same amount of cash and reach a broader audience and still compete in large scale tournaments? Why? Yeah. And it, and it gets weird too because just a lot of players aren't even playing the game. Like, bro, I I don't see I rarely see people trying to get aids going. I, even, people never play any extra COD. It, for the most part, they'll play like late night wagers and stuff. People and, scream and, and get off. People weren't playing eight slash here though. To be fair. Yeah, but but Ben, people are getting on Halo now. People are legit like they're getting off well, the game no, and playing Halo. I don't, I don't people did that. play. Sorry to cut you off, no, Ben, but people did play early in in Cold War. Yeah. This is like, bro. This is the fastest like. Um, casual, I, I'll, I'll call it casual competitive um, Call of Duty has died. This is the fastest it's died ever. Mm. Well, Doug, I don't think you agree at all, to be honest. I'm pretty sure, because right. I've seen, so I've seen Doug's comments on this. And now, obviously, that's what Parasite thinks, but Doug, I'm going to let you uh, spit some shit. Go ahead. <laughs> all right, so first of all, when I hear like COD is dying and Comp COD is dying, it just makes me laugh because I know that there's a huge future with competitive Call of Duty. There's a reason why I gave up millions of dollars to go back into this, other than the fact that I love it. I also believe in it. Number two, I don't know if you saw the schedule, Chris, but there's going to be six lands this year. There's going to be a challenger versus pro land where challenger teams are going to play pro teams. Well, which here's is something the thing, we didn't have the last Is this real? Is, is that real? If, I'll show you the PDF, so the PDF if, from the league is, if you want to see it. If this is we true, just, are, we just, you, are we just putting news out If this there is that? true, I don't you give a be, damn. Yeah, I'm no, gonna put listen, 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 listen. I got the PDF. If I'll this it to you guys. is true, if this is true, you would be <laughs> leaking. But oh, any Jesus besides Christ. besides the point, Doug, um, I get it. There are things. There's still a system. I'm just saying, from an investor standpoint, it doesn't make sense. Not only do you have to put all this money, which I said can go elsewhere, that can still benefit. Far more than just attending some lands, bro. You can you can literally reach a broader audience because at the end of the day, that's all these brands want is they want to reach a broader audience. They want to gain sponsorships. Like winning tournaments is great, but like they can do the same thing. They can win mm -hmm. Warzone tournaments, right? They can literally accomplish the same goal and they can do it without investing as much money. They can do it without inv making a completely new fucking brand, mind you. Like we're you have to make a completely new brand well, from let, scratch. Well, let's let Doug finish. Let, let's let Doug finish because Doug, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Doug. You were saying something and then. And obviously, whatever, you got the PDF, you're saying whatever about the schedule, but go ahead, keep keep going on your point. Long story short, the only issue with Vanguard, besides for what Haggy said with the, I agree with the destructible doors, the, the windows, all that, yeah, like, dude, 100%, it's, it's whack. The only other issue I really see is the squad spawning. I don't, like, see the logic behind having a squad spawning system to engage casual players to want to play more. I don't know how that logically makes sense. I think it's really stupid to have squad spawns, but other than squad spawnings, we're going to have a third game mode that's going to get fixed. I agree 100% when you say developers don't care about the game because clearly a game mode should have been out at launch. They should have pro players testing the game months in advance, User was moved committing to, to a ranked playlist. So day one of the game, we already have a, a beta or like an alpha of a version one of a ranked where players could casually just hop on and play. That should automatically be a thing when the game comes out. To wait until December for a third game mode to come out and it's yeah. still broken, I 100%. I can't argue or dispute it. I'm with you. I think that's super, super lame. We, we shouldn't have to deal with yeah, that. And what's, with, what's with the realistic comment, too, about the one dev talking about how they want to keep the game realistic. That's why they don't put trophies and all this other bullshit in. But then you look at the rest of the game and none of the game is fucking realistic. You know, it, you just tell the devs they're lying straight out of their teeth sometimes when they're asked questions. But go ahead, Parasite. I was going to say, God, I just, I just blacked out because I had a train of thought and then it, <laughs> it, it got smashed. No, my bad. But um, no, you're, you're, you're good. I'm just trying to remember. So... Uh, what were you talking about, Doug? It'll probably refresh my memory. Just one more time. I'd so say like, about like the doors and windows suck. The third game mode thing. Sucks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I remember now. So, oh, thank God. um, how many fucking times and how many years have we been asking for these things? Oh, multiple. It's not years. just this year. It's not just this year. This dates back to literally like pre World War II that we wanted this stuff. How well, many yeah, years it, is it? It seems like we're going backwards at times. Exactly. Sure. It was we're we're going backwards. Our feedback isn't being heard, and I know they, they just recently fired a whole bunch of QA testers or something I just read up on, but like, dude, we will be your QA testers. We give a fuck. We want to see the game good. We will obviously want to sit there and play it and figure out bugs. They don't care. They don't yeah. bring us in. They don't sit there and listen to our feedback, right. and, and, and they can say they do all they want, and maybe – here and there, some of our things get heard, some of our things get fixed, but in the grand scheme of things, they don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Because if they did, this would have happened a long time ago, and it hasn't, and it's fucking pathetic. And then we also got Mr. Patty P here, ladies and gentlemen. Is that, is that you, Pat? 
Is that who just Two. joined? Let's get a wakes in the chat for the one time. Oh, let's get a wakes in the chat for the one time, Mr. <laughs> gotta, Patty P himself. We're asking for a wakes, but it's all good. We'll give you a pass on this one. Oh, Ben, what? Oh. Give him a wakes. Give him a wakes. Ben, give him a what? Wakes. What are you talking about? Get a wakes in the chat <laughs> you right now. Get on the show and just ask for a wakes. Bro. Oh, okay. Ben. We'll give, you uh, one, we'll give you one free pass. You got to start it off with a wakes. Get the vibes uh, going. Don't talk to yeah, co-host takes like that. All right, all right, keep going now. Okay, well, Pat, nice, nice of you to join us. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have the legend Patty P in the chat. But uh, Chris, I agree with everything you said. Um, and Pat, I don't know what what you've heard, but we're basically just saying how shit the game is and how nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> That's basically what we're saying on here. Um, and, except Doug. Except Doug. Except Doug gives a big fuck. You can tell. Look at that grin on his face. <laughs> I can't. His shirt yeah. on. His pecs are poking out. He gives a big fuck. Well, well, I think I think Doug's also looking at positives in it too, because it is there is positives that, to look forward to. Like there are events coming up. Like the, I, it has uh, it hasn't even I, started yet. But yeah, Ben, go ahead. So, so we can make this show like a, a like a eventing session if we want. Like I don't think that's a productive way to have this conversation. But if you want to do it, fine. No, here's we my, can have a conversation here's, But here's about my it. take on it. Like. I think a take that I've seen recently, like, and recent as in the last couple of years, I think everybody's kind of honed in on this point. I think if this year speaks to something, it's that we're almost at the point where we know there's a yearly development cycle for Call of Duty. We have to deal with that, and it's it's a challenge that I don't think any other esport has. Hmm. There's got to be some unification of consistent maps or mechanics that go year to year um, so that we have a much better start to the year. Uh, I feel like the points made here about maps and pacing, like if we had a consistent set of a couple of maps that translate from COD to COD, I think it would solve a couple of these issues. Yeah, we well, already well, have that though, Ben. I mean, we don't need like, cons I, I wouldn't say I mean, we what, need what consistent like the same from... maps year to year. I would say this year, I mean, I don't want to just add to a hate train. I mean, I, I agree with most of the points you guys are making. The biggest I issue I find is the, is the map pool. We need... Out of 16 maps, the, the, the fact that we currently have, I would say, three playable search and destroy maps, and you can put asterisks on playable, <clears throat> is is pretty disheartening. And like Chris said, like there are pro players willing to, for free, lend a helping hand in the development cycle. But when the game already comes out, there's nothing that any pro or personality can do. And I understand, like... If I'm a developer, I'd probably hate all the pros because you just see your game getting shit on publicly. But I mean, I think it's important to say like it, it comes from a good place. Like we all fucking know how good our game can be and how big our game can be. Like we have some of the biggest personalities. We have great storylines. Um, Call of Duty is based off good personality and, and storylines and rivalries. If we had actual good maps, I trust that everything else would fall into place. That's that's the biggest problem because bugs are going to get fixed. I understand some will get fixed slower than, than others, but like at some point the game will be tuned to fix all the glitches and bugs, but without without playable maps or the best maps it's just very very hard to fix the, the, the thing yeah, that irritates game. me think about like think about the some of the challenges here right the way the, the date of the game launch came out it was up right against thanksgiving so these developers who have lives they're going to go celebrate thanksgiving you end up creating this like extra lag time with these fixes it's really unfortunate this year and delay and probably getting i mean we haven't seen a title don't release it don't release that's unacceptable ben because a lot of that stuff could be worked out before uh the game launches uh, i know all devs are obviously at a rush to meet launch times but um efforts can be made to completely null a lot of the issues that are being launched especially on the competitive side but back to what uh waggy by the way let's get a waggy in the chat waggy in chat. Back to what, <laughs> waggy back, in chat. To what, back to what waggy was saying um <laughs> the maps as long as warzone is at the forefront and casual players are the number one priority. I don't think we're ever going to see map design be what it was ever again. I really don't. In Call of Duty, hey, you I, could I, tell it's I, priority I, now. You could tell. Yeah. I mean, bro, come on. Yeah, I, I mean, and the, the you way, can't blame the them maps for that, are, by the way. You no, can't no, no, blame them from prior times. No, you don't. They're, we don't they're blame building, them. They're building, a, they're building a game that is going to want or to, to for the, the goal to be loved by the casual player. So I just think the maps that we got in the past. It's just something that we're never going to see again and, and for reasons that are just out of our control, right? Like, it's just when you design maps that are lane-based and, you know, don't have a million angles like they do now, like, the casual player is just going to get shit on because 
they're just casual players like any if, but but they're Doug, not Doug, what's i your disagree with name? you but they're not oh. do you do you do real so you know skill based matchmaking exists T fucking that's terrible still players irrelevant. that's still irrelevant. no it's not even that terrible players are going to get matched up with terrible players the map design isn't going to dictate whether terrible players do good or bad <laughs> against terrible players bro, bro they already have of whether you have a sorry, shitty sorry, player sorry, versus shitty finish the what map I'm saying is design is still designed I get it, for I get shitty it, players to be able I to walk into a I get it I get it but what I'm saying is they already have so many different systems time. and game designed uh, decisions that are literally aiding these players to a degree where it doesn't it doesn't like they can skimp out on a few details and no one will care. I promise you, if I was a fucking old man that didn't know what Call of Duty was or played it super casually, I'd come home after a day of work, grab a beer, load up a fucking game, and I wouldn't even know what the fuck is going on. I'm just gonna spawn in, sprint, and shoot a fucking target, and I'm not gonna know because gonna, that's literally what most people that I'm are try not competitive hardcore gamers look at the games they just they literally just want to shoot and play I'm gonna try a game. getting us back on track for a second so here's what i don't understand because in my opinion i think that the best competitive maps were also like the fan favorite pub maps that's why i feel like a good competitive map is also enjoyed in pubs right i'm that's looking a good at point i'm looking at gunrunner i'm looking at uh Google. like Ray standoff wait gunrunner was a, a <laughs> gunrunner was not a bad map a gunrunner wasn't bad pat gunrunner was, was a great right. map, pat. It hold was on a great map. But, but to continue Let, and, and then go to cold war what was the map with the big statue in the middle I mean, no, no, well, hold on. I'm trying to use recent maps like Raid, Standoff, of course. Those were fan favorite in pubs and competitive. Slums? But I'm trying to use. Because, hold on. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, Pat, brought up, Pat brought up oh, Warzone. Moscow. But just because Warzone in doesn't mean we can't have good map design. I was going to say London Docks too, but that's not really very uh, recent. So what mm -hmm. do you have? You have Gunrunner. What's that map with the statue? Um, Moscow. Moscow. Mos we Moscow this, yeah. was a solid map fundamentally. Right. These are maps that I feel like were enjoyed in pubs. So I feel like the maps that are enjoyed in uh, – the best competitive Moscow. maps, in my opinion, are enjoyed in pubs. For the most oh, yeah, I, I mean, I agree to, I, I agree with you. Did we just say Moscow? I mean, he's, he's Mo just Moscow basically saying <laughs> fundamental map. He's basically saying he's basically <laughs> saying that some of the maps that play well I didn't like Moscow either. I thought that map was ass. I thought We're Moscow was ass. Good but I liked Gunrunner though, Pat. You didn't like Gunrunner? I liked that one. Gun I didn't. Gunrunner, uh, Gunrunner, nah, Gunrunner was good, bro. That map played good. I liked that map. In what domination? Nah, Hardpoint. That map was pretty good at Hardpoint. Moscow, right, besides, I don't besides know. Besides the point, besides the point, let's move forward. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm just talking about Listen. simple maps with pretty much three lanes, and then like obviously you have some second stories, some third stories, whatever. The simplest maps, for the most part, are the ones enjoyed most in both competitive and pubs. So I don't agree that map design is completely flawed due to Warzone. I think that good maps can be made. I just wish that pros actually could have a helping hand or former players. Well, yeah, it's like, not even, but it's not even about, about that, that though. though. Doesn't that go back to my earlier point, which is like, we now have this history of rich maps. Like there should be some maps that are ported and available on launch. I think that would help a lot of design side on their end of focus on ports and limit the amount of newer or uh so what's stopping that from happening i don't know i would love to know that's Wait, what i'm saying on, but hold on, hold on. You, let me let me you know let me, can i can i ask a clarification question really quick sure so zinni doug hey any of you can answer tommy you can answer too mm -hmm. Y'all are telling me that you believe that there was a good map like a good stand grade a standard map in Cold War, Modern Warfare, what was the game before that? Black Ops, Black Ops 4. Or Black Ops 4? I mean, yeah, there were some, there's some good on, maps in there. They were not bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to split it into two tiers, right? Because we they cannot not compare bad. it to Black Ops 2 and World War 2 anymore. The truth is, slide canceling is in. So I think I, I have to split it into two groups. Yeah, but listen, I can't. Well, like, listen up, Matt. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. All right, hold on. Zinni, go ahead. Zinni, go ahead. One at a time. Let Zinni go. like two separate groups. You have to split it into like traditional Call of Duty movement that we used to be used to and now like modern day next gen movement. For the current movement system, I think Gunrunner was a good map. On Cold War, I think we. I personally think competitively Moscow was good. I didn't. I'm not a big pub star, so maybe there's a disconnect there. Like I, I'm not sure if people enjoyed it. Uh, I think Arsenal and Black Ops Four was a solid map. Like we've had solid maps. Frequency if, too. If you, if you compare them to, if you compare them to like the nostalgia of what we grew up on, like the Black Ops Twos and the Ghosts. No, every map is shit compared. No. Yeah. But no. like. It's like old gen and next gen. I, is I think you have to separate it. And, and I think Gunrunner was a no, good map. I agree I, with you. 
and the, the reason oh sorry sorry to cut you off but the reason i agree with you is because you're stating you're you're talking about overall feel of the map and how it plays in the current game and the mechanics of the entire game you're not just talking about map design I, I, I think when you, you look at some of these maps bias, because map design arsenal frequency gridlock seaside hacienda those maps weren't good competitive maps we made them play 5v5 but no, they but, weren't good maps. Like wait, those but, maps but were the same at those problems maps, that we're having now, except we didn't have windows. Like wait, looking at those thing. maps, no, no, there was not. There was <laughs> not nearly. We got windows now. There was not nearly <laughs> as many corners and lanes and stuff like that, and all these like sub lanes and stupid windows Dude, and doorways and stuff like that. Hold on, hold on. Moody, come through the call. Dan, just come through the call. Dan, come through. Dan, come through. Dan, don't even bother trying to have a conversation in the chat. Just come through. It'll be easier. Fucking relay. Bro, well, Dan chat. always does this. He comes in, he, he, he argues in the chat. Channel. Like, Dan, come there through, There we go, bro. Dan, Dan. Okay, Dan, I'm, I'm not a big fan of my... Looney, hey, we're blank. missing yeah. the big picture, bros. Go ahead, Dan. Y'all need to mention how the fact that the CDL came in and we thought that that was going to bring us closer to, like, the devs and stuff like that. And that shit's just... I feel like it's worse. Wait, Adam hold AP hold and, like, Spence did a good uh, job where we had there. at least, like, some chats. Like, I remember Black Ops 4 actively being in a chat with a dev. And like, th th I remember they you were trying but to make it like... Is that not a thing anymore? Is that not a thing? Yeah, that's that's not, it's done? I remember, I, wait, Tommy, I don't you know were, if there was one last year. Tommy, you were yeah. for... I think they hate us that they don't there, even right? do that Yeah, anymore. I was there, no, I was there. Okay, okay, I think... was there Was there one after that? Was there one for Cold War or Vanguard? Uh, uh I, don't I don't know. Modern Warfare one. one, that was funny, but... Is anyone in the chat that... Hold on, I didn't say that, but... Wait, here's... Wait, here's... Hold on, here's the problem, here's the problem. I think, so, in order for these to be constructive, it needs to happen, like... While the game's in production, so because, me. because listen, if you ahead, basically Tony. this is what happens: the devs don't speak to any players before the game comes out. The game comes out. You guys see what Clay just said? We in have the chat? no. We he have a, is. Yeah, he I, that, that, that seems like cap. He said that some pro player told a dev. No, to he said that. Dish. I he said did. Hey, dude, that I, do, I do the same <laughs> thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, time out, Dan. You wanna? What are you? Hey, what are you gonna uh, yeah. take on I, that uh, Wait, I didn't say that. Hold on, let Tony finish. Let Tony finish real quick. Let him finish. Let him finish. So Dan is wild. In order to in order to avoid this huge backlash. The, the communication needs to start at least at a decent point into the game's construction. So, like, the pro players or whoever's trying to help actually con constructively actually, like, help fix the game before it comes out. The problem is the game comes out and then the finished product is underwhelming. Tony, and we've been saying this for five pro, years. I, look, yeah, More listen, than I know. That. I don't disagree with you. Then every pro or personality starts shitting on the game. And if I was a developer... I wouldn't like. I don't blame them at this point for being like we're not talking to these guys right now. Just off like the way that a lot of people have handled it, and I'm not. I, I understand the frustration, but if I'm those human beings and I'm seeing this shit said about the game I made, I'd be like, what's the point of even talking to these guys? Well, then, that's just, being, then that's just being a bitch, bro. It's tough well, love. We're trying to get, we're trying to get it going. We're trying to get the what's best bro, for the game. We have a one year cycle. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna criticize your game quick. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, we, we, run, we, we run out months. of time. Like, what? Ask this question, because I think you guys have all matured enough. I, I know <clears throat> where some of these conversations used to be a couple of years ago, and they were not constructive, but I think everybody in this call agrees from a pro standpoint. You guys understand the game that needs to be played in that situation. You need to be solutions-oriented, and if you're in the room in those conversations, work with the developers to offer solutions and not just complain. We correct? did. Hold on, hold on, we hold on. We did that, Ben. So, Pat just talked about, we, we had a Modern Warfare playtest session, very constructive. We literally went over Damn, every map. Well, well, we hold, had, on, hold on, hold on. Let's clarify something. Let's clarify go ahead, something. Pat, go ahead. Not a single Infinity Ward developer was at that playtest. Let's let's clarify that so so we understand. That was a Modern Warfare playtest. Not a single dev was in house for that playtest. Not one. So let's let's make sure we clarify. Uh, that is big. That. Is that true? Not one. Not one. I mean, yeah, dead. it was all Activision. When the CDL and, came in, we just thought it was going to bridge that gap. We're like, oh, they they have to care now, right? And that, it just does not seem like that and, at all. And, and let's 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 also specify. I believe methods. You might have been here for the World War Two one uh, when we went out to Sledgehammer. Oh, that um, one there. Who was who was at that one? I was oh, I there. Tommy was there. Tommy was there. No? Yeah, I think was I was there. there? But Tommy was there. Yeah, I think I was there for sure. And let me let me also let me also just add real quick before you begin is we're not we're not like 
trying to attack the developers when people are complaining online. People are just fed up. People want what's best for the game. So, you know, the devs shouldn't be taking anything to heart and being like, well, I'm not going to talk oh, to these guys now. Also, also, to your like, point, you know, there is, if when we come in a week or a month before launch, no matter what feedback we give, there is no room to implement feedback a month before launch. None. Zero. None. Not yeah. a. Yeah, they're, they're fixing so, bugs QA even, at that point. Even if we give crucial great feedback, uh, even if in, in a dreamland, the dev is like, oh, wow, that's a really good point. That's not even coming into the game until Christmas, like at yeah. the earliest. So, Well, it's because they've always had patch dates, right? That's why we've, uh, events have always like got affected by that. Like They yeah. have certain patch well, dates you, they, have to, they have to get approved from well, Sony and Microsoft updates, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, title updates have to be scheduled for an event because that QA process in order yeah. to ship on consoles is pretty extreme. I mean, so. listen, so uh, in, in my opinion, this is what's needed because I agree with Pat. Like, pro players just aren't going to have the schedule to, like, be involved in the making of a game, like, day to day. I think there has to be, like, a committee or, like, people hired by the league to, like, work with each developer year after year. Like, I'm going to stay, ra like, random former CDL players or fam former pros or people knowledgeable on the game. Like, there needs to be, like, a small group of people who are hands-on during the development from the very beginning of the game to just help put their two cents and guide them in the right direction. But like how that's, many that's fucking only... years have we been saying this yeah, shit, it's, man? Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. Like, is, I mean, we, we've like, been bro, saying listen, this. We've been yapping that, about this forever. These, that's the only have... thing we can do. I I don't disagree well, with that, you guys. That, no, that's a, man. And, no, it's and, not. And listen, this is fucking stupid. And, and like, but, but hold on. Time out. But then I, I, we, we understand your point, Chris. I don't think anyone in here is is disagreeing with oh like we've been at this for a couple of years i think what is constructive on this show because we have a pretty big audience now is to be solutions oriented about it what's the justification extra justification now on why they should do it instead of saying well we've been complaining about it for years and nothing gets done you understand Bro, that, like where i'm coming from ben i understand where you're coming from but that's fucking bullshit we've had literally people with uh, thousands of millions of fucking followers put together on twitter for fucking ages literally saying the same fucking shit Every fucking yeah, year, it's it's like, or I don't Chris? care. I don't care. Yeah, yo, hit some pull-ups real quick. I don't dog. care if we have a Push fucking pulls, platform now. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> shitting on the show. I love the show. I, I'm grateful for what you guys do, and it's awesome. But I'm saying we have more than enough reach to sit there and 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 say all the shit that we you we want to get out there. But clearly, it's not being heard. So can we fucking do something about it? And, and that's can the, we just yeah. not play? Can the, we just not fucking play? I don't care how many people you how many people get fined. Do do of something Dude, unify where's the where's the players union where the fuck is this shit and that's you why guys literally sit here and say you guys all oh, want shit, better for cod but none of you guys do anything besides sit fall, there bro. besides Jesus. sit there and not talk <laughs> about it or you sit there and still continue to grind through the fucking year when i have pro players every time i fucking tweet something they yeah, sit there more. and they go into my dms and they tell me how much they can relate to me <laughs> hold on, hold and on. relate to my statements but they They're... can't say anything <laughs> The the players union type thing is a lot trickier than than people Clay think. Clay tried it's to get one more... started, nobody answered him. No, that is that that is true. That, that is true. No, that is no. true. People weren't answering him. I was on the them. calls. That is not exactly no, the no, way no, it no. went down. There was email chains, and he was in. People expected him to do everything, and I, I, that that. From the no, time I was in that there. is not the reason. That is not the reason it didn't go through. That is not the reason. There was a lot of people involved in that. It's just a lot more. We can say how easy it is to unionize or whatever. No, it's no, a I'm fucking not saying long, it's hard. tricky process with lawyers and like. It, it's not as easy as everybody thinks. That's, we're going to talk about the okay, game. So we don't got to go in hypothetical. Okay, but here's the we, thing. We, we here's don't have to go thing. in actual <laughs> details. But. Here's the thing. If you guys truly gave a shit, I don't care what you would have to sacrifice. You fucking do it. Because you're literally sitting here complaining every fucking year. Sitting here, like, literally watching your fucking future let's not blame slowly the crumble. Here. Let's not. No, let's I'm not. just saying. I'm just saying. We, we, we can sit here and blame the developers all we want. And sure, we sat there and put out all our feedback. But when it's not being heard, can we, you guys do something? And I know you guys. And, and, Besides bitching, I don't think so. What's so here's the way I mean, we, we, we talk about Black Ops 3. Well, hold on, let's let hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. Everybody, everybody calm chill. down for a second, Doug, Doug. Go ahead, chime in. Wh where's your you know, why are you all like all pissed off? Don't pull up. So <laughs> it's a problem. I'm know? just, I'm just hearing Haggy just like talking like so passionately about sacrifice everything. If you guys gave a fuck and you guys have these guaranteed three hundred fifty thousand dollar contracts, delete the contract. Quit the game. Don't play. Send them out. Like, yo, like, can we just like? I thought we're talking about Vanguard right now. Like, like no, everything. Yeah, 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 we're talking about everything. I understand his. I. It's just that the the way I see it is like. <laughs> no, you're calling. 
I mean, it's just like, yo, I want to talk about the game. No, I, I, I mean, I, go think, ahead. I think, guys, guys, I, I think Doug's me. Like, I understand the frustration here. I think we all do, right? I've been on the side with you guys. I've been in the room when news has been broken. Like, it, it is a tough spot when it feels like a one-way communication. What I, my greater point at the beginning of the show is, like, what are the solutions? And I know the solutions have been out there for years that we're proposing that would help solve this problem. I think that's a better constructive use of the show there than a making it sort of a therapy yeah. session. Yeah. <laughs> Save mm. your energy. That's the that, solution. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, <laughs> how you go, we learned that three, four to, years ago. To go ago. back to your point, though, Haggy, about the the union, like everybody's gonna have to be on board for that. So you're okay, gonna. No, have... That's not true. It's just a very. You're right. A lot of. What do you mean? Every pretty you much every most, single you know, player. You need most yes, people yes, in there. You, you need most players. It's just. Uh, I, I'm not gonna go into you know? the actual. It's thing. complicated. It's, it's very. It, it's it a lot. It's, 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 thing. It, it's a complicated thing, and it shouldn't even have been come down to that. It really shouldn't. But it, the only the only point I've been trying to make is everyone sits there and wants to say they care, and they then they sit there and act like they care. But if you don't actually do anything, no to fucking try to better. Give me names. If 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 you don't actually <laughs> sit there and lakes lakes. lakes. If you don't actually sit there and do everything in your power to to try to make things better, then you don't care. Yeah, well, here, much here, here's, here's a good thought. Okay. Here's a good thought. What, happens, right, so, wait, 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 what wait, happens if players do that and then they snap their fingers and go all in Warzone League competitive COD is done? We're already such a minuscule that's portion already gonna of the league. Okay. Well and and that, and, so and what do you want to do? Speed up the process? And that's and that's and that's and that's the, and that's the well, fucking baby, and that's Tommy the fucking is problem. Over and there. that's the problem in the mentality of and that's the problem of the mentality of all these players is because everyone is. Let, let no else that was funny. Uh, guys, let, let Chris go. Everyone is so fucking Everyone is so fucking terrified of Tire that shit cloud. happening that instead instead of literally using your your platform to try to better the scene or you're using your following and all that shit to try to do something, the influence that you carry, you're just fucking terrified and you just rather sit there, watch it burn and suck and Bro, suck the way, it up. The way Activision like, works, it's you're fucking just, stupid. You're just like you're, it's it's sad, it's super sad. But the way it works is the more you do now that isn't gonna fucking affect anything it's just putting yourself in a worse position later that's the sad reality of it that's truly the sad reality that that's just how it is sad reality i mean chris what everything that you've been doing online is that what you want pros to do you just want all the pros to just like what do you want them to do it's like, not gonna say it's, it's too not late that now. i'm not saying something it's not dude, like dude, I've, the thing i just don't know what you want people to do long as me I started that, uh, like, I started doing that shit in 2013, bro. It's 2021, like, eight years of the rise of Call of Duty. Not a single thing changed. And it wasn't just me. There was plenty of people that did it that whole time. Nothing was, was changed. Nothing was incorporated. In Black Ops 3, guys, didn't we have a, a Reddit thread? And that still didn't, like, You guys truly want much. me to go into detail with something that you guys want me to do? Want sure. you, I want you guys to do? I want you to sit out and not play. Bro, we that that is such a dangerous game. People are not going to do that. Making, bro, people were making 2K not wanting to sit out of the Black Ops 3 League a month. Do you think people are going to sit out bro, their checks that? now? You got you to think that. of it like this, man. People like, aren't going to do that, though, players, players, man, People weren't sacrificing $1,000 a month. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, one at a time, one at a time, Doug. Go ahead, because we need to get this shit under control. Go ahead, Doug. There's 44 players in the league, and if we all know how political it is and how you need to know someone, you got to be playing good at the right time players are the, the issue i have with the cod league is how exclusive it is is a blessing for the players and it a curse for the players that aren't and the, the issue is if you look at all these players and all these teams how many of them besides for optic scumpy and then whoever he decides to pick up every year this year it's shotzi and it's still dashy and they got illy they're the only one streaming no one else streams no one else simp is one of the few people i watch all his videos makes youtube videos these guys are all pussies because they're afraid <laughs> they, speak their mind, <laughs> they speak their mind or if they show their personality or if they show any vulnerability they're afraid Bruh. that people are going to judge them and then there's going to be like circulating rumors about them then they're going to lose their job it's not their job it's not their job to stream what what did that have to, what did that have to do with vanguard i'm sorry i'm, I'm talking about <laughs> players sitting out like how craggy was saying like having players forced to sit out they're so like the, the league is on the way i see it as an outsider is that the players in the league are always so paranoid about I'll tell you what why someone thinks about them so now, and they don't want to lose their job compete. 
no matter the state that of the game, has competing. I, I bro, <laughs> has hold on. Last year, no, no, I'm saying that. No, no, but like, competing yeah, but Doug, at the end of the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember, one at a time. Doug, I see what you're saying for sure, but the the problem is it's not the pros players to stream. Like, or it's or it's not their job to stream. Is what I should say. You know, it's their job to play the game professionally and win championships. That's the only you know job that they have to do in terms of being a content creator and streaming. That's something that should be their choice. Like, oh, I don't oh, think that's oh, a wait, huge on, issue I here. Remember. I agree with you on that, Tom. It's, yeah, you know, listen. Do you guys remember the Minnesota opener for the CDL? You guys yep. remember that? Yeah. Where where we got forfeited for using like I think Lace I remember this. Yeah, Lace that Field didn't change the fact of the game at all. Yeah. Whatever. We weren't allowed to protest it during the actual match, so we go back uh, at the hotel and we're like, this shit's clearly wrong. We had I had a statement. Like, yeah. Yeah, we had our management on our side, right? Like we were fully. Willing and able to protest the match and sit out the following day. Okay, this was so this would have been on that. Sun, I remember that Sunday. Yeah, we weren't gonna play against Florida. We were gonna sit out because that shit was wrong. It changed nothing in the game, and we got handed an L for like no reason. Um, so we were gonna completely protest that match. Org was on our side. Everything and Activision was basically like, we don't care. You'll just be handed a loss, and that'll be it, and we'll move on. That was that was basically what was being told if we sat out that match. That absolutely nothing would have came from it at all. Even if we, a, a brand new professional team in the new professional CDL league, if we didn't fucking show up and play our game, okay, well you're you'll get a loss and we'll move so on. So what you're saying is if people wanted to sit out, say all the players in the CDL wanted to sit out right now and protest this shit, they wouldn't give a fuck and they just say, all right, then no more league. We're just not gonna run any of these events. No, we're not gonna they, run they, they, no but it's not they, gonna they change would, anything. Just get to what the do you point? expect? Yeah, what's happening so Nothing. right now it's just okay, gonna cause issues. Hold on. hypothetically every player refused to play right now do you think maps are just gonna be pulled out of thin air and put into the game everything fixed like the, the only people it's gonna hurt sitting out are the players not, first off the fans that want to watch the competitive call of duty and the players not being able to play it doesn't hurt anybody else but I, them. I, I it hurts the fans think, and the players it's I, not gonna fix the game overnight it doesn't work that way I, I it's truly not about think, fixing the I game truly overnight think the players aside from like a handful of players who we obviously all know who they are the players don't really have any control here it, it's honestly all tw oh sorry <laughs> I almost said 12 all 11 of the CDL <laughs> franchises um th those are the ones who there are technically who have... 12 spots but go ahead okay yeah, well Hastro owns two so I'm going to group him as one um all 11 <laughs> CDL franchises they are the ones who have to be at Double the Aaron. forefront of this argument by far, bottom line, they all, yeah, all 100%. 11 have to be at the forefront. And if they're not at the forefront leading the charge, doesn't matter what a single player says, does, tweets, or goes naked on stream like Doug. It really don't matter. Like, if, if, <laughs> unless, this, unless the 11 CDL franchises are at the forefront of the argument, then ah. your your progress meter, so to speak, is, is at zero. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I, Tom knows this. I've been beating the drum. I think what Tom for Excuse me? four. What the? That's a, that's a phrase. <laughs> what? It is. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Hey, that's yeah, that's that whiplash. That's that wheat. That's, right. that's that wheat. Beating the drum. <laughs> so uh, I've been kind <laughs> of. And I've, I've pitched this internally to like MLG at the time, and I'm sure I'm sure you know. Uh, would love to pitch this to Activision, but like my my point is, and what I'm hearing here is, I think there's room for an advisory council, and I think right now just legitimizing the voice that you guys have your kind of recommendations is a really good first step and in, in kind of excuse my tracks getting in there a real good first step in sort of breaking in that conversation i think that dialogue could be better and i think that's the big thread that i'm kind of hearing from this conversation wait 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 is yeah, an advisory council wait, 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 wait been an advisory council this conversation what has is, been had every year and wait what, that's yeah that's what what been just happening being since like 2014 i think <laughs> Is that, but, is, is, that, is that what, like, the pre-meets we go to? Is that what, like, that shit is? No, no, like, when you have an open DM with the devs. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. Dude, dude, T, when Merc was running and What do you League mean by Ops, that? Or, not running, sorry. When Merc was doing League Ops at MLG, he was a part of that, quote-unquote, advisory council that was going in months in advance discussing stuff, and nothing was happening. Like, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. What, dude, what I'm saying is that it, it needs to be, it needs to be a collective forum that has everybody at the table. And I mean literally everyone, pros, the teams, the league, uh, the developers, um, the the uh, yeah, executive leadership. Uh, no, no, I mean, I mean, my my point is that it there needs to be a formal forum, and yeah, like there is mechanics of it, 
NDAs and some technical pieces that will need to be put in place to make sure things don't leak. But I, I think the voice what you guys are saying here is, you know, you guys have some strong opinions about how the game's played, but I think your voice is legitimate. You guys are Boom some bomb. of the largest grinders of the game. And I think creating a place for you guys to give your formal recommendations is going to help stall a lot of these issues early on development cycle instead of a situation that we're talking about here on the show where the game's out, it's December, uh, and it's going to be really hard to get feedback in uh, in the first couple of title updates for a game. So how, so, do you, how do you plan the rest of this going out then, the rest of this year, Ben? How do, you, how do you plan this game? Let's talk about Vanguard a little bit now. And Doug, I know uh, you wanted to talk about this a little bit. I've been waiting for this moment, but, man. But where, where do you see this game going? Let's talk about the future here. Where do, you, how, do you see the CDL having, you know, finding any success at all this year? Because there's, there's room there. There's room there for some success. But we need to start seeing change fast. Like, fast as well. And hold on. And I gotta say one more thing. And Hitch put this in the chat as well. But Halo really put things into perspective. And I want to make that very clear. Like, they uh -oh, really did. I hate that comparison. Wait, wait, I don't on, at all. What do you, what do you I don't mean at all. By, what do you mean by Vanguard have success? What is our what is our baseline for success? Here? I don't what know. Do I couldn't even success? tell you. What does that mean, Improve, too? I don't my, know. My, my baseline for success is improvement in viewership at the very least, and I guarantee that will not happen. Can, it can will I, either be the I, same or worse. Can, yeah, that's what I said. Can I ask a genuine question? What's like... What has changed over? I'll, I'll just use from the start of the CDL. Has, uh, do, does anyone feel that there's been growth from the start of the CDL no. to now? I think, the, no. I think the biggest complication of that, and just like every other industry. Well, you would know better. Than, yeah, Ben. Uh, yeah, is, is there I think, growth? I think like, COVID's complicated a lot of long term planning. We've talked about it a lot of threats. I disagree. So, well, I fully disagree. I think me, COVID let me, helps. Let, let me make my piece, which is I think a lot of these teams were set up to do a lot of engagement in their local markets. You know, get the players and teams out there to the casual audience, to the casual gamer, explain why they should care or be interested in these players and teams. And they've been able to do zero of that. They had maybe a couple of months and then COVID hit and no one can really hold any of those small style events. I went okay. to one, by Hold the on. way. Hold on. I'm I, not gonna... No, no, Pat, let me, let me speak. I went to one. We helped uh, at the time our client, the Huntsman, run a meet and greet event that was in oh, Chicago. Anomaly, I, anomaly. I pulled up to that event and the line was like three blocks long. Anomaly. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep it I, anomaly. I, 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 no, no. I understand that there Pine, are Pine Park's I weed launch Pat, was also Pat, a finish, three parking uh, lot line. Their book know. signing was Pat, fucking uh, let me uh, uh, the whole city. All right, let me finish. I understand that they're an outlier team and they had a pre-existing brand uh, and viewership that they built in, but there are a lot of franchises and new IPs that need that runway yeah. to be able to do enough of those events to build growth. It's not a overnight process for some of those entities. And they've been basically had two years taken away because you can't run events. The only way you can reach them is with digital marketing. And that's not super easy. Yeah, so you, Zen, and, you think meet and, greet? And, and Ben, you think oh, that was, it was good. Yeah, Zen, we had a meet and greet. Don't worry about that, Pat. Guess how many people showed up? Three. Damn, you should have let me know. I would have been there. Ben, ben, <laughs> ben, 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 I'm going to keep it honest with you. And this is the last thing I'll say about this shit. The release party was like a broken record. Let Chris I, don't want, I don't want to sound like a broken record on this show and continue to be negative if you guys are trying to have a productive conversation. So I'm going to leave after this. But let's say, so I, like I play New World, right? And I have the I have guild mates and stuff like that. They don't know a lick about esports. Wait, wait, so they don't, wait, 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 they don't know much about it. Okay. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me here, right? Wait, when I told them, kid. when say I told them again, a guild, please. a clan, a, you a, a guild it's like a team. Yeah, right. guild mates. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I you are that. anyways. Right. So go ahead. Sorry. So when I told them I play Call of Duty competitively, I'm technically a professional. They asked me, oh, you play Warzone. And that's it. And that's literally where, that's literally all that needs to be fucking said. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I'm out. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's no. understandable. But that, but that's, okay, okay. there you go. And that's, and that's, you that's what, all that needs to be said. Explain to you what the that's marketing it. problem is. Doesn't matter. And by the way, there's a lot of Doesn't cynicism matter. in this call from your because I think you guys are thinking <laughs> way too short term and not long term. Chris, don't give a I don't, fuck. I agree with that. I'm never going to win. Wait, hold on, hold on, Ben. But do you think long term? It's been ten years ago. That's long term already. This is a tough question to ask you. This is a tough question to ask you, but yeah. Wait, that's he doesn't gotta think long. This is a five to ten year business model for for the or five to ten year business plan. That's what these franchises are looking at. Either way, do you think this local market stuff is the proper business model for Call of Duty? I'm not gonna say esports in whole. I'm gonna are, say. Are Call you of saying Duty. like are you saying like franchises like HMAs? Or are you just saying like the piece that I was saying? Yeah, I was referencing the fact that you were mentioning that they need to do local market activations. We got to talk about brands. that there are, there are brands that have like no story behind them. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, these for, new entities, but I. It's I, easy I, for Atlanta Phase and Huntsman and LA Thieves to come in because there's a story behind it. But like the Minnesota. Which is also, which is also yeah. I think, uh, what's the word I could use here? 
counterintuitive to the league in general if you're going to have pre-existing brands fight against brand new ones but that's a different argument entirely but i i asking you directly do you think the local market business model is the correct way to grow call of duty esports i think that's a a difficult question i think from my pov and i think the league figured this out very early on was the proposed format that was more of a regular season style format those more of a world tour i don't think was going to stick um, for a wide variety of reasons. Uh, well, I don't care about this. Yeah, let's you know, not let me, go let to me, the format, though. Let let's just go into the I, market. I think, I, I think the, the model can work, and I think the, the, the market play can work. I just think the hardest part of this is there was, we, there's a giant what if because we had two years sucked away because people basically couldn't go outside and hold large scale events. And we're just now getting well, back into that. Not in true. A, that's not well, necessarily true. Though. There was, there well, was three, there was one, two, there was four, there was four events before COVID. There were four, four events, but I think we would all agree that that was the structure of those events was not ideal yeah, but, but for wouldn't, the, wouldn't the needs you of hypothetically quality. agree that they were all a massive, I don't want to say failure. I'm going to say, let's just say let down and a massive money dump. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that because again, as I keep saying on this, the toughest part about this is that for two years, we've been living in a reality in a global world where you can't do many of the things that you could have done two or three years ago due to the fact that we are living in a pandemic. And by the way, pandemic is not still over. Since the last time we did a show, there's been a lot of news about a variant. Now it looks like the variant may not be as strong as some of the previous variants, but we live in, an, in a reality where there's going to be difficulties holding live events and engagement. And look, those things are not easily monetizable it is not i'll say now being on this side of the business you know it's tricky but it's a long-term well, play and and we're talking about some brands in the league that have a pre-built audience and it's just about cultivating and growing the pre-existing audience but you've got teams like the rocker that came in clean and had nothing behind it and i think that market's had some success they had an opening weekend and we saw every time they do local market stuff whether it's a wash party or something to slowly growing and growing the audience i think that model can work but we got to give it time and we've got to also hone in on a really stable format for the league well, listen, I agree, Ben, 100. <clears throat> and and I see Nameless put in the chat as well. Mm, but I, I mean, I we're, we're talking more about the game here. I think that's the most of the issues. I mean, besides for like the league itself and the organizations, like, did I feel like some of these organizations have been doing a great job building their brand? To be honest, New York Subliners being one of them. Like, I think they've been doing a good job. Obviously, Atlanta Phase, Optic, uh, LA Thieves. Like, they they make content all the time. But, but I see Toronto are, Ultra. Brands. Toronto Can Ultra's been doing really good. Minnesota Rocker. The rocker is, I think, the these best These guys example. are all, you know, these are all doing it. For me, like, that is an entity and a brand that had no history before the CDL, right? And they brought in players, and they had to explain what the brand was about. They had the opening event to the league, and they had to create these stories. Like, that, to me, the other the other teams, yes, have done a good <laughs> yeah, job. Yeah, they also got a free win, too, so I don't really know. Like, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say 0-4 comeback is a free win, but okay. No, he's talking about his win against him. Oh, well, I mean. 0-4 comeback. <laughs> That's, that's a whole unfortunate separate issue. But I'm, He's talking I'm about fucking like, inaugural like, kickoff yeah, event. Yeah, the, 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 the preseason, uh, the kickoff tournament, which, which I know was also pivoted from another format, but like from my POV Yeah, Tom, they copied I, I and pasted Overwatch uh, to, here, a, to here's a model my, that has a 10-year-old franchise that already existed and already had a popular fan base tied to it. And they've also pivoted their league format as well, but... But I want to go back yeah, to after they got you. backlash, which wanna, they knew was going to happen. And that's why they pivoted to, and I think is very popular now in these sports, this multi-stage format. Instead of one large regular season, you've got these distinct kind of uh, apex points in the middle of the season where teams can distinguish themselves at the top and other teams have. Yeah, but let's talk about another change. issue that we don't capitalize on the massive market draw of a brand new title coming out every year in November. The the and I think it was Courage that that spoke on this right away was, bro. Call of Duty launching is the biggest market draw for the game for the entire year. It's bigger than any DLC. User it's bigger than anything channel. else. It's the game coming out. That is the where the most eyes are on Call of Duty ever. They spend like the most year. money on like hyping their all their oh, commercials far, and stuff. Well, marketing agency is the marketing arm of everything. This was like, like, and, he's and got we, a lot of money. And we don't even the CDO isn't even like an afterthought tied to that. Not even like partly tied. It's not I, even I, like I 100% agree with you in the I, background. I, and I I think I made my position on this very clear on the show. Like the league, from my perspective, 
should be starting in December. There should be an event, some kind of. I think it should be earlier than that. Well, I think it should be no, 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 December. is good. December is good. The game comes out in October, November. Yeah, you now you're having a Thanksgiving event. Preseason kickoff. Uh, nah, like, we won an shoot, event on Thanksgiving. Shoot, Remember that? Shoot, shoot and giggle. And then in December, you have a real event to, to end Bro, the year. You could have you could have a you could still a, in that cycle. Think about this, Ben. You could have a fun multiplayer launch event. Exhibition, not much on the line, just a fun fucking launch exhibition. Yeah, instead with, of like a for instead multiplayer. Of, yeah, and instead all of teams, teams playing, playing just, in a kickoff, they just yeah, playing that. Like yeah, an that would be the kickoff. kickoff. All like, CDL yeah, teams in some launch exhibition event at the face of multiplayer launch because it's the CDL. And it's the launch of multiplayer for the game. That would be the biggest market activation for the CDL you would ever get. Who cares? No, no one's the, the thing is, that. but but no the thing is, Ben, because the, the most watched regular season event in Call of Duty history was what event? I have no I idea. I have no idea. Tell what us, is that? What us, is that? Tell event? us. Tell us. The AW AW Columbus Open. <laughs> Doug, yeah, Doug. Because that was no. no. <laughs> you pass, if okay. You're, if Let him know. That, but hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. That's Optic versus Phase. Yeah, oh, Opti versus Space. Oh, let's but it's not the only say Opti versus Space. It has nothing to do with the brand's help. Crim. Dad so versus Son. I got you, Pat. The, we don't the have to keep helped. dragging it on. Like, we don't... Like, we don't have to just keep yeah. – every, I think Pat every I personality in pro agrees that we should have more to do at the launch of the game, and it's a big missed opportunity not to. I'm not sure why we don't. It's just that clear cut but and simple. When, we when don't. Is, we should. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not involved this year, but when does the league start this year? I remember it started uh, in February I think remember, like, January there's, or February. There's no official launch date. Whatever okay. happened in 2 Ks? 2020, it was February 1st, right? But you can't do that anymore, I think, because of legal ship. Uh, yeah, but nah, what? Sure. what do you mean? I think Clay was the, the about The Ams it. play a 2K. Is Haggy still here? No, he's not. Uh, how, many, how many events did Haggy <laughs> say he played last weekend? Or he last plays week, every weekend, year? but like four. I think. In the whole year, right? The whole year. Every weekend, but like four weekends. And that's because they fought for like one so yeah, of the weekends. Yeah, I think they, they fought they for still, like Easter they still weekend to be off. They the 2Ks, Tommy. It's just a challenger only thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why is it challenger only? I don't understand that. It's so much fun too. Shit. I think Clay. I think Clay was talking about it. Like you can't sign up to a tournament as Minnesota Rock or, or something like that and play against another. But why doesn't like, the why team? doesn't the league run these tournaments? Like why won't why don't they just run oh, franchise team know. only tournaments, just like kickoff tournaments and shit that the pro, well, they do. The pro it's, teams. It's ran it's ran on game battles, which is an entity of Activision. It's because hi guys. It's because they want to Yo, save the hey, hype. You sound good until brother. the league Thank launch. You. It's because they want to save the hype until the league launch. Like, they want opening weekend of the league to be this huge thing, which I don't agree with because if you look, I know, uh, who was it? I think it was Looney that said he didn't like like talking about the Halo thing. Mm -hmm. But if you look at that first Halo kickoff, Halo has had dead no, numbers. No, 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 no. The reason I don't like talking about it or, like, uh, making, like, a direct comparison, I agree, obviously, Cod can take notes. Don't get it. don't get it twisted. Okay. I'm just saying yeah, in terms of our what's, over what's 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 <laughs> the what's Halo's fan base or like what's Halo's player base without competitive, and then what's Call of Duty's player base without competitive. That's why Call of Duty just doesn't give a fuck, right? If they don't have a competitive league, people are still playing COD. I get what if you're Halo saying. Halo doesn't have a competitive league. Are people really on Halo? That was just that's just like why I think they need I, to make sure they make right. things right. Compared to Call of Duty, well, now I think, fair, I think they should take notes. Too. Don't get it twisted. Davis, Don't get it twisted. But it's just I just think people exaggerate that shit. I will say that also there's another piece of this for Halo, which is remember Halo Five came out. It wasn't a well-received game. It's been a minute. They kind of needed from an all sides perspective. And I know campaign hasn't come out yet. Like the game needed to be good. Campaign like competitive also needed to be good to to keep the scene existing because it was in a really tough spot. We Tom and I did a Halo show a, f a few weeks ago. Uh, and we talked how poor the Halo team was prior to this, but they were everybody, all parties involved in Halo knew this came to launch well. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Let's not, yeah, I was about to say, don't get off track with Halo. Go back to what you were talking about, Hitch, with yeah, go ahead. Uh, your your explanation of the launch events for Call of Duty. They want right. the CDL to be the launch event. Go ahead. Right. They want the CDL to be the, the launch event so that there's a lot of hype. So the first time that you ever see these teams play against each other is like if you see, you know, phase 100 these play against played against each other you don't want to watch them play 900 times before you actually see them play on the main stage that's what they're trying to it's to a bad save. mindset it but, just, it's I, it, bad it mindset. Sense, but at the same time if you look at the halo launch i mean yeah the, the game is good which i think is something that you guys have stopped talking about but is the fact that the game sucks nobody wants to watch a, a game that is trash but the fact that uh halo numbers have been dead for as long as they have been um, and then that first kickoff, they had like what 80, 80 to ninety k people watching so the dope. first 
kickoff. For like, for that's like something 12 that, hours. Like it was a long, right. Long yeah, event, it was a huge. It was a long event. I mean that the the closest we got to that was when our guys in phase played each other in like a best of one game battles tournament that the whole like shiv thing happened or, or no yeah yeah yeah, best yeah and i want to i want to oh, yeah, mention yeah. something you said too you said that you want the first time you see 100 thieves versus phase whatever and and back to i think it was doug you were saying like you're talking about watching players stream like the hype of watching i could watch 100 thieves scrim optic all day long like on skump stream like yeah pausing for a launch event that's not the first time i'm gonna see them play against each other like you could you can literally watch them scrim every day yeah you can see like them play all every of day. these all of these kickoff even not even like the game battles kickoff tournaments but the kickoff tournaments that like boom is throwing and efus are throwing and like different cdl teams are throwing you can't have full teams play in that so people are wondering like how like why are we watching all these content creator tournaments or all these people like weird yeah. ass teams playing against each other is because they're you, it's written in the know. contracts like you can't have full CDL teams play against each other which I think I think they should throw a fucking hundred k the next week or some shit. I agree. Like, with you you. want to see you want to see like I don't I think that's such like a big storyline. I don't know. No, I, I I think we all agree like we like adding CDL as a launch beat. It's gonna not only help the game launch, because again, and we didn't we didn't bring this up on the show yet, but like compared to other esports, the the mass social media stats that the top level pros and even mid level and, and lower pros you don't have as large of a Twitter accounts compared to other esports, it's like astronomical if you actually look at the stats. And being able to take advantage of that beat as a CDL, uh, as a CDL league, and for the teams and for the players is huge. And I think it's a missed opportunity right now. I mean, yeah, it's just that simple. It's uh, a bad mindset. What was the I last time? It, but it just needs and to it's change. It's also not just the players, too, Ben. Look at some of the personalities that are associated with some of the franchise orgs by themselves. Like, outside of the players in the CDO, like, there's some of the biggest personalities. You got one joining now, by, I think. Yeah, well, yeah you got Jack's Courage on the D's, you got Nate Shot, you got Nick Merckx with FaZe, you got Tommy with FaZe. There's a ton that of that man wants huge, to. Huge. Everybody huge loves Call associated. Duty. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a different conversation because I do think if we were on Twitch, it would just make it easier for some of the biggest streamers to actually that, that, like. That's the point this comment to have, though. Tune in. Yeah, but I don't like, think we need to talk we, about that. We need to talk about the game more, man. We need to talk about game. Vanguard more. I mean, I love I mean, talk about Vanguard. We could talk about the game all day long. Let me ask you a question. It, 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 yeah, we did the same let's, exact let's, points over and over and know, over. Yeah, we are unhappy with the current state of the game, and in order to fix it, it's going to take time, and pros need more say. We need Before an actual, actually we need an out. actual fix list for these people. It, you know, like All everything, right, every little thing. Fix that you can read everyone's attachments, so challengers can know if someone's running vital against them. That's just first and foremost. Like when you're adding a whole bunch of attachments, but then like I think a lot of CODs have done it where it just says like customized MP40. But, like you need to know if if someone's using, it, or you just actually restrict it. So that's like I think a huge thing. Is probably the easiest restrict. Thing. I think for okay. challengers with these dedicated servers, uh, we don't really necessarily know how it pulls. I think it pulls based on who is hosting the lobby. So, like, if I host from Atlanta, it doesn't really put into account, like, everyone. Like, say I'm, there's eight Cali players and I host from Atlanta. I'm pretty sure it pulls in Atlanta. So, I think, like, you need servers where they can just channel. select. You need servers Jack, where, was where they can just jack we're hearing you through uh yeah I, I dragged him out until he's so ready like challengers online plays is uh better anti-cheat for challengers that should that should be number one i don't know this uh well, the squads, probably, i don't think the squad spawn is going to change is it the, well, not, I, I mean, the, the new the new the new ricochet anti-cheat yeah. that's not coming to multiplayer anytime soon correct yeah it's wait it's not I, I heard like, it was. I, I, th I thought, I thought, I thought it, was it was for like to, multiplayer uh, and Warzone. No, I thought That's it was coming to too. Warzone first for a, 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 like an amount of time and then multiplayer at a later date. That being said though, anti, anti cheat is very hard. It is it is a really tough battle and it's a constant um, Stop making excuses war, from war. No, no, I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying that, that we can't wait for that to be the savior. I think there are other fixes. And I think Squad Spawn, for example, is a big one. If you wait, what is your fix to people cheating? Yeah, no, <laughs> I was about to say. I think uh, challengers people I think just cheating. A, I think it's a multi-prong approach. Absolutely, um, they are. I think it's a league, there's a league ops element to it to make sure you're. Is that you're a question? Having a formalized way to uh, send in people that are cheating. Hold on, I, I, I think have, I have a genuine question. Helps. I have a genuine question. I think I was yeah. talking to Slasher about this last year. Yeah. Let's say any pro, right? I just or not. I'm not gonna say pro. Let's say any past pro, high intellect individual cheated, right? 
let, let's say I cheated. Let's say this year I play in challengers and I cheat, right? Right. I, uh, I we would genuinely know. I genuinely feel like <laughs> no one would get away with it. No one's it, gonna or I, I mean not sorry, no would I genuinely feel no like one no one would, get one would notice. Yeah, like I no one's gonna know. You could I cheat and get away with it. I fully get away with it if I yeah, if you I had played to kill. No, we would know if, you're not, cheap, if you have cheat. if you have credibility, you can get away with it, period. If if you have prior credibility and you're a former Bro, pro also, or a top also, player, I've seen no clips, one's gonna question like, you. Some of the people that are cheating make it like so obvious. They do obvious, make it obvious. Like, why though? But, I think it's but, an bro, accident, bro. I think you naturally do it when you see it on your screen. I could be cheating right now. No one would know. Maybe, maybe. But no, we know. My, my, <laughs> my, my point is just like I don't think there's a fix, or, or like a, a league ops fix for cheat. I feel like if I and any other high intellect individual who's playing college at the top level was cheating and trying to get away with it, they could easily. Yeah, Easily. we've always talked about. So I don't think there is any fix on the league ops side. Like, oh, uh, they'll notice, blah blah blah, whatever. Like, and there's not even theater in this <laughs> game. There's not even theater. So is I, Jack I like there? Any, anybody could get away with cheating, bro. So I don't think there is a fix other than hello. A true anti. Oh my god! Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah, I don't know how this program works. Yeah, see, Jack, I knew it. I knew he didn't. Why are you using team speak in 2021? I knew he was gonna say something. I knew he was gonna say something. What are you using? Don't say this. Oh. Discord. Everybody yeah, man. Discord. Every time I bring somebody in TeamSpeak, they say hold the on, same shit, on. man. It's the same thing every episode. Oh, I can there's, hear you guys now. There's a delay. Like you guys now. There, there you go. Guys. There you go. You hear us, Jack? Hey, boys. Thanks for having me on the show, Doug. You look sexy as fuck. Sorry, my mic lag. <laughs> um, Thanks, Jack. You know, this is a great conversation, and I'm really grateful to now be tuned on. And look, th this league will never run the way it needs to run until we get every development team with the ability to have a team that moves from dev to dev each year that is strictly working on a competitor on, on the league that that's it where the call duty season should go from december to about june in nice. june that lets pro players play what they want play warzone get involved in these big tournaments to build up the hype just like when only warzone people for the first time ever they might see is scump winning their Warzone 100k tournament, that might be the first time they've ever heard of Scump because they're used to seeing Huskers, Aiden, Symphony dominate these tournaments. And now it's like, who's this Scump guy? And you need to realize that that's actually like the, how casual some of these people are that, that, that play these games. Yeah. Then with that team that goes from dev to dev that breaks down that wall, I'm not saying it changes the craziest craziest parts of the new things they want to do with the game like this team won't be there to shut down you know breakable cover and vanguard or you know weapon mounting that i think that's going to be out of their control but to at least a, 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 like make sure that spawns work the, the, the way they need to certain modes are in the game the way the way that they need to to make sure ranked is there right off the bat another dis discussion i've had with them is look no one cares about calling cards quite literally no one cares about a, re a viewership reward of calling cards in the game. If someone's going to tune in and watch these tournaments, give them something of actual value that they can show off to make sure that it, it, it's actually exciting to yeah, see like and have. And, cards, and, and, but... and like nah, there's no shot you care about your calling card. There's no shot. Hey, Halo, so there's 748 of them, dude. There's 748 of them in the game. About My that Little shit. Pony and MW2, you guys didn't rock that one? <laughs> no, nobody gave that a, a good one. Nobody that was a really good one, Pat. I agree that the first event should happen early as early as possible in december but there should also be hype moments leading up to that just like we've seen just like we've seen with the launch of halo we've had these big online tournaments where you already have storylines on the game you see yeah, which players are that. underperforming versus overperforming you know we've already seen breakout people like lucid is someone that i'm now seeing like oh my god this guy's insane how's he gonna do with this land event this week meanwhile we've already had multiple times to watch these top teams fight each other and have storylines created like Optic vs. Cloud9 and now Sentinels being back in the in, in in the fray. So I'm hyped for this first LAN event. Mm -hmm. Right now, Vanguard just comes out. If you pull up twitchmetrics.net and you and you and you go and you look at arena shooter games, they lose 90%, 80 to 90 percent of their audience within the first three weeks of the game launch. Go look at Halo Infinite, go look at Battlefield, go look at Vanguard. It's every yeah, statistics, fuck, it's, keep it's, going. It's, it, go, look at the, <laughs> go look at the Vanguard Twitch metrics, Halo Twitch metrics and all this stuff. I don't want a BR for Halo because of, uh, you know, I, I don't like the way Halo normally plays. I love playing Halo, but guess what? You go look at where the viewership was two weeks ago to now, and if there's not a major tournament going on, then there's less than 10K average viewers on Twitch. And to, for me, 
I find that a lot of excitement and way to tell the health of a game is through the general excitement around watching and being invested in the game. So when you now take your hype of the game that comes out in the first two weeks and now nothing is done with it, you can't even have modes that are playable and they don't want pro teams to be able to play together, you immediately just deflate the air of the hype that you have you lose right interest. off the bat. Yeah, you just lose interest. Right now, if, you, if you're a competitive Call of Duty fan, you quite honestly don't know what you're supposed to look forward to. You just don't know. Right right now, if you're like, what Is am I going to be- Is the schedule out yet for the uh, league yet? No, 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 no it's no. not. Okay. You quite literally don't know what's going to be next. And so, sorry that I just came in here and just kind of took no, over for a second. No, no, great. you're good. It's fantastic, uh, it's Jack. Like, it's great. Oh, I, it, it, it's just, it's insane to think that this game just came out and Vanguard's now been out for a month. And mm -hmm. I, I, if I'm an Optic fan, if I'm a 100 Thieves fan, if I'm a fan of Atlanta Phase, I quite literally have no idea when I'm going to be able to watch my own team play together. We got, we got these motherfuckers at a boot camp right now in camo pants. J Cap does not look good in camo <laughs> pants. All right, I'm telling you right now because what else, we can't even we don't have a third game mode. Wait, Jack. I, no, I we have one. It, it, it doesn't yeah, fucking yeah, work. Scrimmed. It doesn't work. Jack, I want to. I want to ask you. Here and catching daggers. I want to. I want to ask you. Uh, you mentioned. I don't. You don't got to go in detail or anything. You mentioned that you've had multiple convos with the league. How do you personally feel, like, about how those convos have went? How? What is your okay. actual outlook so, on those convos? I'm gonna be extremely blunt and honest with you guys. That which is the exact way that I approach any any phone call that I have with any developer or anything I work with. Uh, look. It does it, the success of Vanguard and Warzone directly impacts my business as well. Like I'm not playing Warzone the last six months, so my viewership is down, my 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 videos are down strictly because I can't support what has happened on the game. Like nothing's been updated in regards to the map and 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 the anti-cheat is still not here. That I'm like, dude, I gotta I gotta move on. I gotta go and do what I need to do for my own mental health. So what I tell them is, look, I'm going to be very blunt and harsh, but I'm going to tell you the constructive criticism in the way you need to hear it. And I tell, and and, and I've had the discussions around, um, around having a team that goes from game to game. That's the competitive team that just works with each different developer and goes on in, and and can and can be the ones that is the the direct line of communication that has the good relationships with the pro players. And honestly, it makes it makes it would make a world of difference as well as realizing that, look, these arena sh multiplayer, uh, or sorry, let, let me rephrase, respawn arena shooters, just like Battlefield, Call of Duty, aka Hardpoint and, and uh, whatchamacallit, Control. and uh, Halo, Halo, they just struggle from a respawn perspective. Hardpoint is a very hard game to watch for new viewers because why should I care when someone dies 40 times in a game if he dies three times in a it's, row? It's 50 times it's, on Boca. I know, I know. I, I, trust me, I've watched those. <laughs> I've watched the scrims where three players of Atlanta phase have 63 kills. So that's why when we do our tournaments, S&D is always the one that keeps the viewership there because it's a natural storyline that when you look at other games that are search and destroy type rounds, you have Valorant and CS. And those are games that have 20 year plus life cycles because it's just the most enjoyable to watch. Hitch's tournament he just ran, where everyone's using different weapons and, and it's pro, uh, pro sim or whatever the hell it's pro mod. Pro sim, yeah. And, um, pro mod. And, and the, that <laughs> is such a good viewership experience because there's natural clutch moments, there's natural intense moments, and it's not 12 straight minutes of just bashing your head into a wall. Yeah. That's what, um, that, the funny thing that, that is, that's how I felt about Overwatch. I'm like, bro, I play Overwatch, and when I watch Overwatch, I don't know what the <sighs> fuck's going on. I, I oh, think yeah. one, one thing with COD is, and I, I think this is like a big lesson from the Fortnite competitive scene from PUBG, because I want to like make a full conversation about shooters here. It's like, if you can find that intersection where you're having competitive content and what some people call like competitive entertaining, uh, competitive entertainment content, like in find the bisection that, I think you're hitting a good point. Like, for example, why are CDL franchises not on launch night doing like kickoff S&D content? Why are people having to go to CMG and UMG to play those tournaments? If, if say I don't know Dallas, uh, uh, Dallas Optic, Texas Optic ran an SND kickoff tournament, that thing would blow up on Twitch night day of the, a, a game launch night, and then you just carry the momentum with other one tournaments spread throughout that calendar, building up towards a big Apex moment in December. That's your first event of the season. Like I think there's a way well, to to kind of ride that train so you even off that fall off a little bit. But yeah, it's exactly what he's saying.
Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I'm good with that. Everybody is right, but why aren't these things happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's what that's Like, we're question. listening so, Jack, to an owner in the league. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. How was Activision's response, Jack? That's where, that's kind of where I was going with my question. Is, I, I, how do I, you feel about their reaction? Don't go into specifics, but my, just... My tough thing is this. I Look, do I have the title of co-owner for 100 Thieves? Yes, but it is very much a title that I, I have my stake in the ownership, but I don't do anything but my own stuff, right? Like, I just worry about courage, Courage and Nate Shot Show and some of the videos I'm in. I don't have day. I'm not in the office or day to day things. So yeah, you weren't in regards at the to Legend Show match. In, I heard. In, reg in regards to like the understanding of you know how the conversations normally go with like I'm not in any of those. This is strictly just I got reached out to because all I do is I I've always been vocal of my opinion on what I think needs to be run different and how I want to run things. Like I can help run things better and help uh, bridge the gap from having the m multiple years of experience under. Uh, working at MLG and Activision Blizzard of how corporate things move and how slow it can move and and things along those lines. So when I had my most recent two conversations, I, I left feeling positive about it. But I also know how big these companies are, that it is a slow moving process. Like when I when I had these conversations, which were, were just before the launch of Vanguard and at Vanguard launch night, um, it is something that like when I, when I mentioned like a team being formed, around working with call of duty i don't expect that to come in until the next call of duty you know uh um, i think and and, and Sorry, no and so for me it's like when i talk about this stuff or or engage or watch this it's strictly out of like how much i i one love competitive call of duty i think it's absolutely awesome obviously it's where my roots are but then i want the league to be most successful because my best friends are involved in it maven's you know maven the love of my life the true love of my life um, and, 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 Beautiful. you know, Joe and, and all you guys, like, I want it to be successful because I know the characters and the people we have in this league. There's a reason why most of the pro players who are no longer in playing pro have a huge spike of support, um, from, from, from the community because they're really entertaining people and they're, and it's, you want to root for them and rally for them, for them. And the call of duty scene, it's, it's always the competitive Call of Duty team has always been the underdog. I once heard a stat that of all the people that play Call of Duty, only like two percent had ever heard of the CWL in its second year. Like they did like a survey. Um, That's insane. It's like, That's insane. And so it's just one of those things where it's it's always going to be an uphill battle. But if there's a reason why I remain optimistic, and and I, I got to head out after this, but if there's a reason why I've always remained optimistic from both a Warzone playing perspective, like the way the game is and, and and updates and stuff like that, and then for competitive Call of Duty, is that when I look at Halo, which I think is doing 95% of 100% of things right right now, I would put Call of Duty at its peak of all time at about 25%. So if we've done this well and gotten this far and had this much success as a game and a league and watching and, and hype moments that everyone talks about, where they're, they've only basically given it like 25% of effort that I truly believe it could one day be at, that I'm really optimistic still for the future of Call of Duty to be successful. It just needs to... Um, Break through. It happen. just needs <laughs> to have that happen. Like imagine when... Ev uh, just imagine a world where all things... Where, where this fires on all cylinders, and it's just mind-blowing. We'd be huge. Integrating, it into, integrating it into Warzone, tapping more into the casual player base, getting Crowd Warzone funding. competitors over into Van... Like, Warzone people over into Vanguard. You know, the, the, the team skins, let alone... I mean, damn, actually, now I think about it, I got to go download that new one in the shop. That is fire, bro. Someone popped off on MS Paint on that new CDL skin, bro. <laughs> um, so it's like, yeah, man. Yeah, you're, look, a clown, you're a clown, bro. I know... Uh, <laughs> Like, I love what you like that this, these conversations are had. And I think a tough thing is, and if there's any advice I could give to any pro players, and I know you guys know this shit, but you know, I think that certain people have their opportunity to talk to these higher up people strictly because of how they talk and know how to talk to people and give criticisms. And I know it sounds like a broken record, nice. but um, it's as simple as that. Like, these listen, the CDL, the Call of Duty competitive is so small on the agenda and so small on their revenue scales that when they are 70% of their annoyance in a day-to-day -day basis is the Call of Duty competitive community, they're just like, well, they don't make me 5% of my money, so I'm not even going to give them a thought. Would you agree and, it's uh, gotten smaller with, with Warzone's success? Like in regards to how much they care about it? or Well, just you saying like Call of Duty competitive is like a mark on their agenda. 
Oh, like, I mean, Warzone has Warzone has brought Call of Duty back to a point that it had not been at in half a decade. Oh, no, 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 for so. sure. But I'm saying like the competitive side and their overall agenda. Do you think Warzone has made the competitive part go down? Um, or just stay stagnant I, at whatever I, it was? I want to say like, I, I, I want to say not really, um, strictly because of how much I know they've expanded teams and brought in different stuff to deliberately or just work on Warzone. You know what I'm saying? So like now, like the, the, it hasn't been like they've pulled other people off. It's been a lot of adding people on that are now dedicated to Warzone. So, um, I, I I personally don't think it's as much now. You know, what pisses me off is knowing that this last month, for the last month, tomorrow it's ironic Caldera releases. The last month has been the biggest chance for multiplayer to make a splash when. Warzone mm -hmm. is old news. Yeah. All the Warzone people are playing Vanguard to level up their guns for Warzone. So even if you can now take 5 to 10% of the Warzone player base and make them care about competitive multiplayer, that is hundreds of thousands of people that now the, mo the month we just had just are just like, all right, Warzone tomorrow. I will never load up Vanguard multiplayer again or watch well, it again. It Unless a new DLC gun comes out that you got to level up. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only time that I ever played as a Warzone person. Um, I didn't like Cold War multiplayer to the point that I didn't even mm -hmm. level up a single one of my Cold War weapons in Cold War. I just didn't do it. I just stopped playing Warzone. Yeah. Um, it's frustrating because that was one of the better pub games. For no, I mean, I, I agree with you, but like, I think in order that for these things to happen, I think here's one of the big problems. All the owners aren't necessarily endemic to the eSport. You said like you're not at... The, the table talking about it. Who do we have? We have Hector Stroh, who are now on the same side, and we have Nade, who at least have Call of Duty Esports history. So everybody's saying the players need to have better conversations or or not play, but I think like the out the the rage and the the actual conversations need to happen up top. Yeah, they're gonna uh, care about what the twenty five million dollar owners say and not what the fuck method says. I think the biggest thing that could happen is truly all the players genuinely banding together and having a productive, helpful, uh, healthy conversation in which you guys take your list of most important things and put them together in an easily digestible list. And then knowing who your higher ups are in each of your franchise teams, you then go and present it to them as a full on unit. Like all the players are working together. Um, it's, it's, not it, it, it's it's just like here's what we think is needed for the health of the game and here's why and it, it's kind of like what the challenger scene just did with the, with their first two events like or the first two online tournaments i don't know what how the community thought about that but genuinely coming together pr proving why you think it would be healthy to the game and i know it might sound obvious to you but to others, it just for some reason isn't. And then the, you guys present it to your leadership people, and then the leadership people, after hearing from every single player in the league as a co cohesive unit, it, 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 you can't fight fire. You can't fight corporations with tweets like that. And these high-up people, you need to use the structure that's in place. And the issue is that a lot of pro players who are younger and haven't dealt with this just don't have the physical experience of doing it. So it's, that's facts. And Tom knows this in Black Ops 4. There was a document that was sent out to developers earlier in the year. And uh, I was hearing a lot of players complain about it. And I took the initiative and ghost wrote it on behalf of the pros, got feedback, and it was sent off. And there's actually some constructive things made change from the document. Was there? Yeah. That's Treyarch <laughs> right. and Matt, though. So. Good. Yeah, that was also different. I think, it, I think it, that's a big, a very, very big thing to bring up is I mean, certain studios don't have high enough figures in game design that care about the esports side. We get lucky with we get one or two when we get them, uh, but we're on a yearly cycle where that could change, right? We could go from having, you know, Treyarch, who I know there's notable people at that studio that actually very much so care about the esports version of their game and and the competitive side and the progression and what that means and then you 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 game ends you go to next year and you get another studio whose competitive agenda is so far down the priority of list where it's almost like doing the opposite for competitive and i think that's the biggest issue and biggest drawback is you're going on a yearly cycle where not only are you switching games which is a hindrance in its own right but you're also dealing with different devs who have different uh, opinions and, and goals for their game specifically uh, when it comes to competitive.
And yeah, I think but that's I, something that's my my problem is year. like my question is why? Like why do why do players need to band together and write a document to then give to Activision to say, hey, you guys should hire a team that works with each developer? Why is that not something that they that's want how, to how, make the product better? I, I'm why sure, do I I'm have pretty to do sure. that? Then, then and I don't want to. Oh, I don't no, want to. No, no, no. Can I, can I take this one? Yeah, Sorry, Pat. Then that's that's how it works in almost every profession. Like, you need to have a, a, a like in in order to get User major changes. In most situations, you need to come to the table with a written piece or an email or a presentation or a deck, whatever form it is, and then discuss what's in that document. It's the best way to collect your thoughts provide evidence, provide your feedback that can be referenced for those conversations. I agree with what was said by Jack. It is very hard for the developers to see all of these tweets and points because they're not really sure what is the collection of the thoughts there. When you put it all in a document or a presentation, it makes it easy to kickstart that conversation. It's what I helped try to do in Black Ops 4 with Maddox, and we actually were able to, early on in the game, I don't know if you guys remember the state of where that rule set was when that game launched. It wasn't that great. There was a lot of BS going on. The map set wasn't great. That feedback was collected, and Maddox helped get a lot of changes through at that time. Well, let's get back onto Vanguard now, bro, because Jack came in and just spit the shit, bro. So shout out to Jack for... Hard to top that one. Shout out to Jack wanna, for coming I wanna, on. Also, a guest of the year right there. Mm -hmm. I want to also uh, highlight something you said yeah. about having a having a team that goes from dev to dev. I, I don't want to say I'm right here because I could definitely be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that could just be rejected from a dev, right? Like, I think... One de let's say Treyarch was like, yeah, sure, we're we're all for an advisory team coming in and working on the competitive side and uh, doing feedback and and we're going like that. But then we go to a new game. I'm pretty sure Infinity Workers just be like, no, we're not interested. They obviously wouldn't say it that way. I don't way, think they can but do I'm, that. Can I'm, they actually? I'm bro, pretty, bro, 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 we, no, 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 no. We know that that that's a disconnect because Activision wasn't Activision pissed that fucking MW didn't have our point. I'm pretty sure Zen that is that's how, whatever the fuck how they it want. works on their game. That's how it works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I agree. Uh, I, I could be wrong, and so I'm, I want to state that as a disclaimer. But I'm pretty positive that's how it works. So I mean, I don't know the actual like nitty gritty how that works. In my mind, I find it very hard to believe that if the right person from Activision walks into the right room and says, "We need so this," Zen. that it won't get done. Then Black Ops 4 changes to Black 5v5 just so MW can just go back to 6v6 pubs. Those fools do it. Yeah. Do whatever the Dude, fuck they, they want. Do, they do. The, the they. Biggest, the biggest issue for me with Activision is that nobody, we don't know what they do because they never tell us. And yeah, so the biggest, uh, the, so all we can assume is they don't know what the fuck they're doing. And if they do know what we're doing, it, they, if they do know what they're doing, at least tell us. Yeah, like, I agree with your it tweet. Went from, it went from 5v5 five five to 5v5, five five, then back to 4v4. Sometimes we have domination. Sometimes we have control. Sometimes we have CTF. Sometimes sometimes it's squad spawn. Sometimes it's real Sometimes spawn. we don't have a third mode. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are we supposed to think? It it, it yeah. drives me fucking crazy. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure devs have, like, the... They, they they have the power for their their specific all game activision asks is listen have a game that is going to come out in november or fucking october that one time and that's it y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want Man, i feel like this wrong. conversation game is, is never going to go facts, anywhere bro. am i like the only one who thinks that way yeah ever. i, I, I mean that that Doug, it's never 2014 <laughs> well i, I feel like this whole hey, thing i mean this like conversation is more i mean this conversation well it's nice listen it's had the nice this this conversation on a public platform that i know that people from in that space watch so hopefully you know you thought you were going to leave out here doug with a productive conversation that that had a solution I thought mm -hmm. we were going to talk about Vanguard. I just think but like we are. We, that's what I keep we, trying we to talk to. What are we going to talk about? Like, what, yeah, what are we going to talk about? The, besides the, besides the game being shitting broken. on the game and say what they could have done better. Wait, hold on. I think Jack's point is the most important. Something we can talk about about Vanguard is what happened to, in the beta, there was a setting where you could disable all of that's the... That's still not... That can... That can be no, re-implemented. The, the reason the why this is, it may make no, the game because, worse. Because Doug I think it would. thinks there's still a lot of hope here with the game. Isn't that right, The game is a fun... Hold on. I will say because there's no, still hope here. I think it fix some the of it. gunplay is fun. I enjoy playing the game. Obviously, fundamentally, it is not one of the best cards we've ever you had. Think, you think the, the gunplay is good? Lame. I think the gunplay is good in the game. I enjoy. I don't it. know. Mm. I mean, um, that's, that's my, that's my I, opinion. I, I, the bloom needs to go, bro. That bloom shit. This yeah, needs but to I go. mean, like. I don't know. I think Jack's point is the most important. It's like all the frustration comes from a good place where we all know the potential of our esport. Like, 
Jack hit the nail on the head. We've operated in our best years, probably let's say 25, 30%. If we got everything white, right one year, like who doesn't know Call of Duty? Like our game could truly be huge, but it, it, it's like a helpless feeling from a player perspective and a fan perspective to know that like it's just not being done. And if, I think, if, I think if everything happened, David we could is, take off. I think the frustrating thing is look at like Overwatch, right? One of the issues they have right now is that most of the players are not from the West and they have a marketing problem speaking to their audience about why they should care about these players. Call of Duty does not have that problem. The teams and the players have distinct and developed personalities. I think we all agree the frustration is, is, is if you could just nail the league in the format, it's going to go super sonic. We just need to get to that point. Has Overwatch 2 came out? It has not nah. come out yet. Okay. Things garbage. Is, is that, so, that's what I was going to say. Is that like projected to be like a big game changing thing for uh, Overwatch? No. Oh, okay. Wait, see, am I, like, Overwatch am I the only current. person in this call who actually enjoys playing Vanguard every day? I, I like literally oh, I have fun on like it. all I'm I hearing in it. my ears is the same repetitive things over and over and over and over and over again. And I see it every day when I look at Twitter. I see it everywhere I go and I'm like, yo, like why can't instead, we just instead, make... of, instead of saying that, what are you enjoying about Vanguard? Yeah, having fun and the game being fundamentally a good game are like two different things. I think I there's have a lot fun, of things I, 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 think, I think you're just having fun competing because you're back in challengers with a solid team that you haven't had in two years. I don't think you're I, I think you're blinded by the fact that you're competing again with a solid squad and you're able to able to actually scrim and get on and, and not get like shit on because you just are in a, the cycle. I think that's where you're having fun, but I don't think you're physically enjoying the game to the to the game sense of it being a competitive title with good mechanics with good gunplay with good maps with good modes i don't think that's fun i don't think you're having fun there i think you're having fun Do you want to ask me you could ask me i don't know i'm assuming i'm letting you know what i think and then i want to reply i like that that's what i think now tell me what tell me tell me what's your opinion on that first of all i think modern warfare 19 was the worst call of duty ever created and i still got the mask on that game by grinding it every day within the first seven weeks so yeah, maybe i, mean, I just like we call of duty that. different than other people do but there's every map in this game i enjoy i like the competitive maps i like the public side of it I what do you genuinely... like about them like do they make sense to you like when I you think, play you you think, think that the, people are yes. spawning in the right spot i think well the, the squad spawn and the actual maps and how they play out are two completely different conversations i think everyone in this call disagrees on squad spawning i don't think anyone thinks that's competitive that but sucks. i think i think the maps are all fun to play i think like the only map that maps we have four are they fun to play are What's they fun one? to What's play the or are they actually good maps doug I think I think both. I think Berlin is a really good map. I think that map gets way too much hate. Berlin's honestly. not bad. I think Tuscan is the best map in this game. I think Tuscan's a Very great one map. You, you think you think that's a good hardpoint map? Tuscan or Berlin? Yeah. Uh, Tuscan? Tuscan. Yes, absolutely. I do. Okay. All right. I think Tuscan's a great map. I think Berlin's a great map. I think Gavutu is. Super wide open, but it's the it worst map I've ever played in the entire So let me ask you this, Doug. You you enjoy spawning into P5 Tuscan? Or P3 that? Hill Tuscan? Oh no, the, other, the staircase the hill on Tuscan is very good. The other hills on the map are great. That one definitely needs some. Or more. P2 Tuscan? No, listen, man. Doug, like, yo, like, I, I feel like I can't even like on, I can't even no. like finish a thought yeah, before you guys let him talk. You guys just want you guys want this friction all the time, and I'm like, yo, just shut up and play the goddamn game. Like, yeah, but that's the problem. Stop crying about it all the time. Yeah, that's not that's not the way to approach it. You can't do that. To your point, right? P3 Tuscan right now like could play a lot better without squad spawns. Like. That hill is a clusterfuck because you have no idea if, if he's going to spawn on your long route and you now need to watch them all pinch around the back or yeah. if they're flooding front. Wait, hold on, it has made on, that map good, the map good, could be way on, good better point, without teach, Good point wait, from Teej. The P5 hill on Tuscan wouldn't be bad with trophies or I think we should do what World War II did in, in, in the beginning of its life cycle is have like one tack per player. So you can have a nade or a stun or a smoke and that will reduce the stun nade spam or... Ideally, dude, just dude, have that, trophies. Just, but... just have normal trophies. Normal operating trophies that you throw, they disappear on when you die, and they blow up two fucking tacticals. That That's I agree with. The that best is system right. you're going to have yeah. for trophy systems. Stop this fucking trophy system that you sit down, and it's on the map for two minutes, and it destroys anything in its path. That's just broken and wrong. It's better than not having them at but, all at that point. But regardless of that, Doug, I want to know, if you were in the cycle on a shit team, would you still be enjoying Vanguard? Pat, I was on a shit team all year, and every player I played with retired, and I still got on every day and had a great but time that, playing. 
you had a you got you got on and had hey. a great time. You're telling the truth. Pat, you could watch the streams. I was literally getting fucking fried playing with trash cans that retired the entire year. <laughs> like I was sick of it. I hate it. I still <laughs> got on and played the game. You, every you, day. Had, you had fun. We're not talking about, about playing the game. We're talking about fun. <laughs> You I mean, oh winning, winning is fun. Losing is not fun. That's going to be anything in life. If you're exactly. winning, you're going to have a great I'm time. Saying, that's why I'm saying that's you're, why you're, saying you're right blind now. to it. I, I'm thinking that you're having – my opinion is that you're having a good time because you're on a good team again, and you're enjoying this moment. You're enjoying having a great opportunity to play in challengers on a solid team and work your way back up the ladder and get more respect back on your name. 150K champ. Shout out TST for the tournament. Thank but, you, Davis. Thank you, Winnie. My Thank point, so though, is that I think that you're blinded by that opportunity and that moment that you're kind of ignoring the fact that the game isn't good. Pat, and look at, I mean, look back at that, seven years ago, Pat, with Call of Duty Ghost. Do you think Call of Duty Ghost was a good competitive game? We could have yeah. the same conversation. For Search and Destroy, absolutely. Great okay, yeah, but you're gonna tell me you're gonna tell me that Blitz, where you sneak on Warhawk, no, Looney, horrible, we played we that, played four okay. overtimes and on that, that, wasn't, that wasn't our fault and, though. And yeah, hard point that was, that and hard point is that hard point wasn't even there though. Hard point wasn't even a moment. No, no, no. I'm saying right now, right now, that's what you're playing in hard point. Motherfuckers are sneaking on Bowcage and spawning you out. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing about Ghost is that like spawning out on Bowcage is a big deal you just get back in the mix within five seconds anyways i think we all agree squad spawns are not good but go ahead davis the thing with ghosts is that yes it was trash but god damn it was fun to watch watching your favorite Especially player let three indeed. people run by and then you're like oh my god let's go like our our, our boy got a point ghost also had the benefit of black ops too watching to eight sure. watching eight people bum rush a hill over and over and over until the entire until you know six out of the eight players have 50 kills that shit is going it, it to just be not hell digestible. to watch it's not no, digestible even no, as the, you want to the timer, let run, let the timer let runs out 80 percent of pro hard points and and, and i don't and i don't that's play that's yeah. me, Dan, hold on hold on let me say this and, and i don't play here. i would love to know how this game well, I guess you couldn't because there's no way to break down the wall. But you can disable tax sprinting in the settings, like not auto tax, like actual tax sprinting yeah, in know. the settings. And I think that would limit the. Because I think one of the biggest issues with this game is you spawn in and you're in an engagement in three, in less than three seconds. In search, in hardpoint, everything. You literally spawn in and you're in an engagement, no matter what map or mode you're playing. So I think in from the from the what hits so much from like the digestible viewer perspective if, if if you just eliminated squad spawn off the bat or not squad spawn, sorry attack sprint off the bat from the like you just had normal sprint behavior i think this game would visually be way more digestible and probably play way better I but love again, to that's, watch a good, it. that's a good I point alec has played uh has put i think this is the, the most respawn delay we've had in a hard point and it still plays that ridiculously fast we're on 3.5. And, and I, wanna, if and I people, also want to say, if you, have to have, watched, uh, if you have to have respawn delay in hardpoint, the mode is bad for the uh, game. I the want way. to bring up Dan's point. I've watched quite a few scrims over the last couple of weeks, and I have never seen a map so early in the year like Bocage, where we are just having games where people aren't getting to 250. It's only ending on time. That's why I think that would be the one map that would go if a new map comes in. That would be the map that gets replaced because of that. But I still think it's a fun map, and I still yes, think it's uh, one of the uh, maps that we're all going to look back at the Vanguard's over, and that'll be like the one map that we all think about from this year. Is Huh? Maybe, all right. maybe I'm not <laughs> gonna. That's just opinion. So I'm not. I'm yeah. not gonna disagree yeah, with that. Gonna that's not gonna be the map that's in your head from Vanguard. Is no, 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 it might it's but because of how bad it is. Because it's because everyone's of how bad gonna remember Bokage. Wait, wait, Doug. I'm with you. I'll never forget Bokage. Yeah, yeah. Never. Wait, wait, wait. I'll never forget Bokage. How you pronounce it? The way it plays. The way it looks. Abizi has a great point, bro. There's only four maps. It's not like you can forget one of them. We've had other years where the launch maps also have been good but like, that's why like i understand that, you that you're having oh my my, my bad go, yeah. go no go ahead Dan. no, no but, i'm just saying that's the why first year i we agree with 16 Pat, maps we're like spawning in that map is fun i play them all with my team to warm up 3v3 the map's fun aw was fucking fun when you get into constant gunfights as call of duty professionals you're gonna have fun you know what i'm saying like I, that's why i don't blame doug for saying that he's having fun like of course when you're winning maps you're, you're fucking especially in squad spawns like if you're an ar or whatever and you're spawn killing people that's fun but that doesn't mean it's a, it's a competitive call of duty like that's, that's the, the thing one like, i know I people are pinching, i think but that's just the one like... map that's the one map out of the four that we have i think all the other i think i mean even with bokage it's way too like you gotta <laughs> 
I don't want to say you got to make the respawn delay five seconds. You kind of just have to take the loss <laughs> and just play damn. with it. Just for Bokich, right? Five just for Bokich, make the respawn I'm, I'm five. I'm genuinely curious. If you disable tax no, sprint, can't do is that. there no way to you get can. through those yeah. walls? I don't think so. Uh, and the problem you can is... punch them. You can punch them. But well, it takes like seven like punches. Well, you know, punch bullshit. Yeah, you got it. You know, no, actually, you know what, Pat? You know what, Pat? You can get through those walls, but it's G8, Gammon Bombs. Oh, okay. That's the only way. What about the green Yo, yo, you know, yo wait, fucking... hold on. You know what would be a good actual fix is you get rid of all those like wooden fucking things. You leave the windows and the doors, but you get rid of all the the wooden yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. The wooden, walls that the, you have the, to the actually juggernaut, break through. The juggernaut walls. Yeah. Yeah. You get through all of those. The Kool Aid Man and, walls. And, the, and you leave or the windows. Or make them one the punch. Or make them one punch. Yeah, I'm, also, I'm pretty uh, sure. Uh, don't quote me on this. A knife does a good job, also. Uh, by the way, of destroying those. The walls are gonna stay in the game, period. I don't we're know. Going we're, going, we're going in circles. We're, I wanna, we're, no, we're talking about Vanguard. We're talking, Dude, bro. We're talking about hey, let's yeah. go with Conan, bro. I'm I think the, a, I think the, the interesting point. Sec, sec. You don't have to stay, man. If you got, listen, I'm just cool having a conversation, man. You know, this can go on for a minute. I don't care. I'm enjoying it. Okay, we can get like so, my bow so I'm also seeing a suggestion or here control. to increase the respawn timer, and I actually don't think that, that helps either. Dude, your point, hard point people should not have a respawn yeah. timer. It should be zero. Yeah, it should be zero. Let's take it off. That then. is Let's how take off the respawn timer. Works. Let's play bow kids with no respawn. You can't because it's game sucks. Sixty kills, bro. Let's go. Let's go. You can't that, do that. Let's go. That, dog. That's gonna be AW and Kyler's dropping eighty a map. Yeah. Let's go. Let's spawn in. Let's do it. Bro, mm -hmm. I, they're, they're just they're, straight no up, hard point, that, hard point no. should have a zero second <laughs> respawn delay. That's if you want to make hard point work, you have to make it work with a zero second respawn delay. That's how hard point works. I, I, I don't, agree. I don't think it's. Uh, I listen. So it's core, like to its if, core, if if like the maps and things work, that's uh, like that's how it should be. But realistically, bro, you, people just need to start GA and things. Like I'm, uh, we we need to be back on our GA uh, happy thing, bro. But the, yeah, the quick on oh, yeah. Sub. But the, the, the thing just, is, when you when you were when you remove the respawn delay, you know where everybody is at every given second. No, no, no but, you know but what that, I'm that's my point. How many years have we had to had do shit like, oh, this game mode doesn't work on this map. We gotta add a respawn delay to it to make it work. How many times have we had to do that? I, I, I like literally every year we've literally had to make that incorporate that to fix shit that is, oh, the spawns aren't correct we gotta add a respawn delay to fix that problem yeah instead of it's oh, not really fixing the problem it's just slowing fixed. it down so you know what i'm saying it's just slowing yeah. it down to, to hope something worse, changes yeah to, to negate it yeah yeah just to try and help it you know but other than that like i mean not really do, we like, do, we, do we all like search and destroy yes or no yeah, in this game, uh, I haven't listen, played it enough. Wait, hold on. No, but fun. dog, dog, there's way too many spots where you can look through walls, and the sound horn Rainbow really sticks. needs to stop. Like the, the, the diffusing plant, how you can hear that shit from a mile oh, away. Yeah. I, Bro, I think that. SMD is terrible right or now. Or dropping the, dropping the, if you kill the bomb guy, right, you can just go sit in a corner and say, like, yeah. the enemy has picked up the bomb. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That new it's it's shit. dumb, bro, because you don't need, like, it's just a lot of skill that you need to have to play that game mode just gets wiped out the water. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I could play with my 10-year-old little cousin and be like, hey, hide in a bush. Bro, you know a, I know when he's going to grab the bomb. Like, yo, we have bomb down. Just go sit in a corner. We'll let so you know when he grabs it. Is it, it. Is it still <laughs> enjoyable to watch from a viewer standpoint? Like, there's two different conversations well, yeah, here. One but is they the have competitive to integrity, it, you know? and one is, is it enjoyable to watch from a viewer standpoint. No, listen, right now, Respawn is not enjoyable to watch. Yeah, I don't think all. it is either. At all. At all. Well, Respawn is also one mode, so yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, it, well, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that fucking control. That's another conversation. Control. So, so if we were to play in a tournament this weekend, would you guys enjoy watching Search and Destroy and Hardpoint? Hell no. I, I would enjoy watching watch it. I think you they watch enjoy no watching shirt, Search. Talk some shit. Listen, That's bro. What I would watch all right, for. all right. If, would, if there's, there's anyone that can I talk play, right now, it's me, bro. Stop. I, I watch Call of Duty now ahead, every Go fucking ahead. day. Go ahead, that shit is Go not ahead, enjoyable, bro. No, I mean, uh, dude, I I tried to do a sub games yesterday. My chat knows whoever was in here. I I stopped after two maps. I said, dude, I I can't do this. The Codcaster doesn't even work. The Codcaster is bugged. Bro, have you guys Codcaster noticed that? Codcaster gives you know Codcasters gives uh like the game gives Codcaster scan like every other game, but not players. <laughs> What does yeah, that, that mean? My, that has been my coach. Every like time. if I caught like you, if, like my players don't get scanned right throughout the whole time. Like no one, <laughs> no players get scanned, but codcasters do. It's uh, just it's like an actual thing. Oh Jesus Christ! Now, how many of these issues do you think come with going to PC from console? I mean, what, really about that I mean, I mean what, scan is obviously scan and repair PC. and all these other issues to that be come fair, with it and anti cheats. Client on launch has usually always had bugs, and they usually fix it by the first title update. This is again another and problem. repair has been a thing for a year. Development resources and wasn't like, we've season one their title launched, update? To be fair too, but go ahead. Season one is the title update, right? Has it, are, it's yeah, already launched? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, there's no really gun updates. All right, boys, I'm hopping oh, okay. off. See you guys. Later, Later Davis. Go. User but that's another thing that Brian Saint pointed out too. I, I'm actually that is actually very surprising that there wasn't a single <laughs> like the shotgun didn't get update in. The you know first... why though, right? Oh, I know why. It's perfectly balanced for Caldera. But my yeah. my point is like that <laughs> I want to see how it works there first. That is literally like in every title that I've ever played competitively, that first title update is like it usually has everything. Not everything. That's why there that. was no reason to play like scrim or play like at the yeah. place point. Like, bro, by the time you actually even play something in January, you're playing a new title. Bro, bro, think about this. I call flack for this. We went to that Modern Warfare uh playthrough, right? And we were told that the the, the game was gonna change so fucking much. I remember like, that. There was so many, were changing. Bro, every yeah, the, the objectives were moving. The spawns were changing, the hills were changing, like the guns. Points on the map, right? Yeah, the guns were changing. Everything was changing in the first title update. So I told my team this. I relayed this information. I'm like, yeah, there's really not much point to scrim, which is what fucking every team is doing now, almost. By the way, um, is that this was happening. Teams are scrimming. Warfare. I don't know what you're talking there's about. Everyone's scrimming, Pat. Yeah, everyone's scrimming, Pat. Bro, I. Okay. The only team that's not scrimming is LAD because of Sam. New York had move. just talked about it. Uh, New York uh, played a couple. Uh, yeah, but hardly. About the it. Point, my point was the first title update is when everything was supposed to be fixed and changed. It happened yeah. in Modern Warfare. It's supposed to always, that's always been the case in every title ever. And this one had like none, like zero. Mm. Yeah, they want to see how it plays out in Warzone first before they nerf a shotgun or not, not fucking even, not just that stuff, like game mode changes, spawn updates, like just quality of life improvements for the game. I, mean, I talked to I talked to Pack about this. Squad spawns just has is just an easier thing to just do, right? That's why it's done. The, I don't, the, I don't the think it's an easier thing to do. I think the design is that it 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 helps players spawn into safety. I think that's the design for it. I, I think I think it is that's... Pat, but like it, the complication for competitive COD is it creates way too much like variability in like how you read situations. And the game's just not like as predictable as it is with classic spawns. I disagree. I think it creates less. It's four v four versus six v six. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm arguing classic spawns four v four versus squad spawns. I think we're talking about two different things. Wait, sorry, say that again. You're. I, I was trying to agree with with your point that like from my perspective, I get kind of the understanding and the thought process on their side from a casual perspective why they're looking at or maybe enabled squad spawns, but from the competitive side. It makes that that game and that thought process so much more difficult because it's it's hard to read situations. They're not as predictable because in a traditional COD you understand the diagonals and how spawn priority works. In squad spawns, all that goes pretty much out the window. Oh yeah. Well, you have quadrants and you have to read quadrant spawns. That's basically it. But it's pretty simple. Yeah, but you don't but you don't know when people over the lanes. Like that's that's a big difficulty. Like we saw that a lot in Modern Warfare. Yeah. It creates it, it creates a lot of chaos and just. You just kind of hit stuff as a team and it can just work even though and i think it'll be easy right put in the chat and i've noticed obviously like i said i sit in codcaster that some hills still have quote-unquote like traditional uh, like spawns where like there will be a spawn out even though someone is still alive and it doesn't act as squad spawn so that's to like ben's point that makes those situations a lot like less predictable again p p3 tuscan as a hill can be so great with traditional spawns it could be a hill that you can really hold out and push and instead like well, now you're just like i don't know if the whole team's is coming around back sorry is that the one where the fountain, the fountain. In the back? yeah yeah if you pinch uh, that hill you make it so you, you spawn them in hill so yeah you're not supposed to be pinching that hill. obviously if you pinch it correctly but a lot of the time well, like if, here's, if here's you're the blocking those two spawns, they just spawn in the back yeah that's what i was about to say there's even if you block now they, it will still give them another safety spawn no, it spawns them in hell, Pat. Well, that's that, the that's, safety spawn. Yeah, that's what so I is 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 the whole complaints? Because I agree with the seeing people through walls and search the silent plants. Tommy, hundred percent. That's super super corny that you could sound horror plant and a defuse. Dan, I think the worst, honestly, is the picking up the bomb. Because if yeah. you know bombs down, like dude, people think, oh, it's sensory, he's taking bomb. Psych. I'm having proto take the bomb fifty percent of the time. I ain't taking it every time. But then you can press <laughs> start and see the bomb glitch. You can see the bomb. Corny. Yeah. So like those that. things, I agree. All those things should be addressed. They should be fixed. Also, the other huge issue is the damage mags. Those need to be a setting where it's literally taken off when you put on CDL rules. Same with auto attack sprint as well, because fifty percent of challengers are still using ATS. Or vital. I, already, I like that. That's players insane, using ATS bro. Yesterday, six. That's six insane. of them were using yesterday, uh, and it's like I'm the only one who's vouching for this, but. The other thing that I want to say, so squad spawning, if is it the maps that you guys don't like, or is it the fact that you could squad spawn and then have these crazy spawns, or is it the actual both. map design? Both, it's both, but the both. map designs is, is serious though. 
Yeah, no, listen. Okay, but Doug, so here's the problem. The game is fun, and like you, I've been enjoying having fun because I've been playing well. My team's been playing well, so it's fun to competitively com to compete and play well. Like it's just a fun feeling. Yeah, I think that's the problem. The fun is part. you look at like a Tuscan search and destroy, and like Alec was saying in the chat earlier, you get to the bomb site within eight seconds, and it's just and one dimensional. It's know the you same got there. thing. Every single, single, single you round. You double naded, you nade smoke, you hit through P5, yeah, hit but a that's, pinch, you smoke but mid, that, hit through the mid. The thing is, like, yeah, that, that's that's true, 100% true, Doug. There's obviously counters to it, but it's just like, that's that shouldn't be That's also making a thing. it worse for visibility for someone watching, bro. How, how am I getting strategy. to a bomb without you knowing I'm there? You know what I'm saying? Wait, Tommy, yeah. that's what we did at that show match. Remember, we would just run up mid alley and go to bomb. Yeah, and it was even free, know we're hey, there? free licks, man. It was <laughs> easy. We beat them to the that's site before they can even be got fixed, there. Me like, and Pat were built differently in that tournament, bro. But, we were built differently there. Yeah, we were. Man, we just adapted. And speaking of, dude, speaking of that tournament, I'm pissed off. Porter said he was coming on. This guy pussied out. Yo, yo, did you guys see Sims tweet? He just put yeah, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch great. this right now. Let me see he this. Spawned, that was great. Wait, what happened? Let me pull it up when, for everybody. You should, you should watch it on... on uh, yeah. yeah, 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 when Sim, yeah like, how is that a thing, bro? Who, who posted it? Asim? Sim. 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 Oh, Sim. <laughs> Where would you get Asim from? I thought you guys Asim said Sim. Sim. I thought you said Sim. Uh, That's why. Okay, okay. Yo, did Sim block me? Oh, uh, wait. I saw... Is that what you just said? So I saw the one where he put, got put into another game. Is that yeah, what you're talking that's about? Yeah, talking about. Yeah. Yeah, bro, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> at all. That's got to be a super rare bug. I haven't seen that post on Twitter at all. Here, it's kind of nuts. Here, here you go. Let's tune in. They called him in as a score. <laughs> yeah. That's actually yeah. good. Like he goes. just fries Seattle. He's like, it's my domain. You can't get Yeah. And then <laughs> he just spawns. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, Wait, hold on, hilarious. hold on, though. So, there he goes. Yo, I'm pretty sure they got 250 points in that on Bow Cage. Hard points. That's good Action stuff out of Atlanta Wait. phase. Wait. Hard points oh, under fire. I'm in their game. I'm in their game. What the fuck? Oh, Chris is freaking out, dude. Oh, he's he's freaking out. All of a sudden, out. he's spawning up, rotating for oh, LAG. Awesome. Like, so, Doug, another problem with the maps is like, okay, so this year, going into this year, <laughs> I was super... I was like, oh shit, we have 16 6v6 maps on launch. Like, we are, <laughs> we are set. <laughs> They're and hybrid. now, in a best of five search and destroy chow, we, re we play three maps, and then we replay two of those three maps in the S&D chow because there just isn't enough well, competitively you know, viable maps. You know, that's, of those that's, 16... Uh, Zinni, that they're not there. There's 16 maps that can be played 6v6, but they're also 12v12 maps as well. They're yeah, like hybrid. Because of pacing. Well, the thing yeah, is, is the it, way you the way you search up pubs now is also different. Yeah, those. So, what, Zinni, what I'm saying is those maps are designed. They they said they're 6v6 that, maps, but they're so designed we have, in ways they're also 12v12. When you 12 say S and D, we have four S and Ds right now. No. What's the fourth? What do you have? I have Tuscan, Berlin, Bokage, and Oasis. I mean, Oasis isn't really being. I don't know. Oasis. So the outlook on Oasis is like that mid ruins portion of the map is pretty impossible to fucking. Oasis is terrible, bro. Do anything with? I mean, yeah. I mean, did we play that one time? I, Wait, so, no, I, I don't so, think so. So if we're taking out Oasis, Oasis, are we putting fun. Castle back in? Like, what's we the solution? That no, is the problem. Not castle. So the problem with the <laughs> no, <laughs> the problem with Oasis um, and Castle is there's pretty much only one viable site and. Like the Does A site on Oasis is Wait, just Wait, you think not... there's only one viable site on Oasis? I will plant the bomb on whichever bomb you choose every offense against yeah, but, any team. Uh, you yeah, tell me Doug, a bomb and I'm going to get it down. You do that once in a pro setting, it's not happening again. I have we three variations get... for every plant. I could do it for every bomb yeah, set on that get... map. Listen, I, I can give you a setup right now that'll kill you every single time off that bomb, and there's nothing <laughs> listen, you can do about listen, it. Boys, listen, boys, we don't. It, we're gonna try to kill me off Oasis five on five, plane, and then I, right? I I first blooded you and planted oh, the bomb to beat, knock you guys out, no. and then the next weekend we play with each other and won the whole thing, in. No, no but okay. Oasis. Uh, listen, uh, listen, been... listen, listen. That's despite the point. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I'll give you the setup. If you have a guy back A just shooting through smoke, and then a guy behind that ruins area wall banging bomb, you're never ever ever playing the bomb. I hope we play you in the cup. I will plant the bomb on you A every single time. I'm an oasis in first blood. Yeah, I'm gonna quote that. I'm gonna quote that. Oh, okay. oh shit. I'll just be like, yo, I, look, I know where Zen's gonna be. I I'm look gonna kill him and plant it every time. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, I know, I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. Listen, no, besides, I mean, <laughs> listen, besides for that, li listen, I don't think there's anything else we need to say besides us just going in circles here. Control. I think, uh, oh, yeah, we can do have to talk about control. Never mind. Let's keep it going. Control. <laughs> bro, did you see the, the, the sim clips, clip? Bro. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, control, so did you see that? 
Yes, can I, I say my piece on this? Because this is why ahead, I wanted to join ahead, this, this, You're the this entire thing. You're the co -host. I, I ahead, wanted Doug. to be the co-host, and then this turned into something I wasn't interested in. But now I'm interested again. Okay, so Control. I saw <laughs> Tom Gravity post out on behalf of Call of Duty Challengers. First of all, I'm a part of Challengers. I never fucking agree to this shit, and my team didn't either. <laughs> That's number one. Like, on behalf of, like, you're the fucking, like, Pope or some right, shit. Alright, bad. Gravity, okay. right, bad. First of all, first of all, look. Look. Here's the bottom line. Oh control my sucks God, right now. Bro. It sucks. It's trash. We all know control is trash. You're literally spawn. First of all, the squad spawns in control make it so fluky in general. I don't know how we're going to be able to play with control with squad spawning. I, I just don't see that being a logical thing at all. We, we did have it in Modern Warfare with squad spawns. Control it, didn't get played. Well, we had domination. Actually, domination. We had domination. Sorry. Yeah, I'm my lost. opinion. Ignore is... me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. If you're good, you're good. Rare, yeah. in. rare so, land right there. I, I've lost it. So, like, I, I, think, I think we have to play like a domination. I think domination needs to be played immediately because control is never going to be viable. As much as period. I hate to say that, because control is a way better mode, but with squad spawns, Wait, domination? we can't play control. I mean, you can't play like control. Fun. Period. Yo, Dan, you want to find two this weekend? Yeah, let's go, bro. What am I, chop liver? It should be domination. Look, it should be domination. Bro, wait, well, no, CTF hold on, hold on, no, no, wait, hold, on too. hold on, hold on. I will say, Bokaj CTF would probably be godlike. I'm I feel like CTF in cap. this game would be good too, but what? Nah, what? nah, CTF Bokaj would be fun, bro. CTF would good be luck elite. finding the flag carrier. He's just going door from door bro, like Scooby Doo. That's what makes it lit. Dude, lit, good and lit are two different things. Nah, no, no bullshit. I just shot you running the flag. Oh my god. Bro, could you imagine? You're turning into a suit, Tom. Yo, you're turning into a suit. Nah. Don't do uh, this to wait, me. Not live. Not live on a play. Did FaceCam play CTF docs? Did FaceCam play CTF docs? I'll answer my question. We, we, we did, Tom. Yeah, what, yeah, CTF docs? Uh, that, that we, love, my we love okay, CTF docs. Answered, okay, okay. So you'd love too. CTF bookage. Okay, okay. Yeah, I love so, docs. So bottom line, do you guys agree with me? can't even play like, Control shouldn't even be a mode just because of squad spawning. If there was no squad uh, spawning, I think it would be great. This is my thing. Elaborate on that, though. Because I feel like Control already kind of has squad spawns. Kind of. It'd be it a four. It'd yeah, be a it four. It did. If your team was pushing like Arsenal, if your team was pushing A and you killed him at A, you would spawn close A with your team pushing A. Yeah, it's, it it's, always it's, had it. Yeah, but you're seeing in these spawns, there's players literally spawning on points when they're on offense. Like they're spawning oh, on I know. like that's, the. That's just. Oh, that's just okay, okay. Now is that that's a squad spawning thing? Question. Is, Gotcha, it, I saw gotcha, I saw gotcha. royalty yeah I saw I saw uh, Haggy and royalty's team scrimming against like Sam Welly and Gunsy no, 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 and they no, were no. literally spawning on points. To so answer ridiculous. your question, no, that's lazy design. That's not enough spawn points for the defensive team to where it's being blocked and they're just spawning out. Well, I also saw well that's what you're talking about, right? That like I saw a clip where where defense is spawning on offense side. That's that what, what you guys are talking too. about. Yeah, yeah they would spawn on the about. points because the defense the offensive. The defensive team would basically push out the offensive spawn, block their their spawns, which there isn't enough spawn points on the map, and they would just spawn yeah, in the objective. Yeah, but it happens both ways too. Yeah, there's just not like enough spawn points. Like if offense pushes to try to spawn trap the de defense, then the uh, defense would just spawn like opposite. So I think I saw that on Berlin. I saw a clip of that. That happened. And then in I also a game saw before, a clip bro. of people spawning in the sky and then just falling to their death. Yeah, I saw that too. That yeah, one that's was a tough. tough. That was really tough. That I saw one that just last not night. Good to see. I saw that in my group chat, my team. I was like, Jesus, this can't be played. Like, we can't play control, honestly. Like, it just shouldn't be a mode in, in the game. Mm -hmm. I think it should just be domination and you take the L. I think capture the flag would be great, but squad spawning makes the game really difficult to have a third respawn mode or a second respawn mode. Put domination as a third mode. Find three maps for domination and fix the, like you said, Tom, fix the silent plant, Dan, silent plant, yeah. whatever, everything in SD, looking through walls, whatever. Squad squad is going to be here. It's not going to change. And, and wait, 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 Doug, 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 as a non, on ass, hold on, bro. hold on, hold on. Yeah. As a non-biased party here, I have to, I have to say this. I have been told <laughs> the entire AM chat just lost full currently because you said that you had no part in the message to the devs about pushing the cutback. But your own teammates, who are also in the chat, by the way, are calling you faded and completely disagree with what you said and that you are completely uh, you're breaking up my team. You're saying not no, 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 teammates? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop blowing out proportions. Doug probably just didn't know that. You probably didn't know your team was in that chat or your good daddy stuff. Oh, okay, probably, okay. Yeah, I, was just, I was just being, you know, a you know, non biased I mean, investigator. I, I could tell you my team <laughs> wants to play in the tournament. I'll tell you that. I don't know what my team I'm said sure in the chat, do. but I'm with you're us every solid. day. You're a solid squad.
I think the teams that don't want to play are the ones that are behind that haven't practiced, honestly. I think that's a huge thing. And they always are looking out for themselves. Like Tom saying on behalf of COD Challengers, I'm just going to put him on blast. Tom, if you had Paul Zaptis and Venom and it was your team last year, you would never be posting that tweet. Everyone's looking for their advantage. Jesus there's points Christ. that, it's the truth. Oh. There's points There's points that could be made. Yes, control is unplayable, 100%. Play hardpoint S&D, hardpoint, hardpoint S&D. Challengers. Of course, I'll let you finish. Challengers is a guinea pig system. It's a farm system for the COD League for them to look at challengers and say, okay, these maps and modes work. These maps and modes don't work. I think it's also off it's base. You're reading a little bit it's, into that. But it's it's the truth. I, like, I, the no, league I think looks you're at challengers. Because you are legitimately the hold only on, hold on. challengers don't, player. Doug, Doug, well, no, well, hold on. No. Continue, no, continue with this rant. Ignore the last thing you said. Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> you were in mid. You were mid sentence. Ignore the I like think, challengers guinea pig shit and keep going. I think I think that we should be playing hard point search and destroy hard point hard point search and destroy and I think domination should be the third game mode and make it as simple as that. Just like in Modern Warfare 19. You're saying for this weekend's cup? No, for this weekend's cup, it should be hard point search and destroy hard point hard point search and destroy. But if we agree that S and D is the better game mode, why are we not playing four S and D's? We could play four, four? S and D's. Oh, sorry, three S and D's. My bad. We could. I, I'm, no, I'm, we we I'm have down. three search. Listen, I I feel the challenger's frustration when it comes to what's going on, and I think Doug is a very very Doug's an anomaly in in the one person who disagrees with what the challengers are saying. I don't think it has anything to do with the players' teams because the good teams are still supporting, trying to push that back. Like Parasite's team, I heard is is pretty good. I would say. I'm not sure if you speak for your team entirely, but you're like one of very, very, very few challengers who are saying that they don't want the tournament pushed back. And with without a third game mode, it's it's just so hard to actually run a tournament, especially when, like you said, if you quote unquote guinea pig system, if you're going to count it to be judged to get in the league, you need to have all the game modes being played. Well, we have the person who sent out that tweet here in the channel. So, Tom, if you want to respond to what was said. Jesus. Now, Doug, you know, like, I have no issue with you. You know, I think you're a great guy. But um, <laughs> I'm in the scrim chat. You know, people are chirping left and right, you know, calling the game shit, calling the game shit, like, you know, this and that. But, like, I've been doing this for a while now, right? I've been in Challengers since pretty much, you know, since my since career Challengers. started. Yeah, since <laughs> Challengers has started. And I've won, you know, countless times each year. But... Uh, this year, obviously, with all the issues with the game, it just doesn't seem right to have a tournament that holds, like, such weight for the rest of the year, like the first two cups do so early with so many, like, issues. And I've talked to the entire scrim chat. Your team's in there. I've been told to tweet, so I tweeted. And I, I don't know if you saw the tweet that I tweeted at you today from the second tweet. Um, saying, like, I, I'm down to play Hardpoint, SD, Hardpoint, Hardpoint this weekend. I do not care. I Like, I was even hesitant to tweet, like, this the, the second tweet because I know that it's not going to do anything. We're probably going to end up playing anyway. But the issues with control, just, I, we cannot play control this weekend, obviously. You're right. Unless, like, in this next upcoming patch, it's just completely fixed. But uh, I right, feel like Tom. I obviously right. have a pretty decent, you know, credibility within you know the challenger sphere and your team is you know represented in this chat zinks i'm pretty sure is the operator and the owner of the, line. of the fucking chat so the back line. He, he's trying to he's trying to chill with those responsibilities he doesn't want to have all that get yeah, Doug I mean, in the chat guys let's get doug in the chat i'm cool with having doug in the chat you i know, do not want there, that so. i don't want that response you don't want in there <laughs> No, See, I, I was the same. Yeah, dog, I was the same way when I was competing. I never wanted to be in those chats because it was just a Dude, cluster that chat, thing is, though, If you're in like... that chat, you lose like twenty percent of your brain. Like you're you're just making yourself so be miserable just by you. reading that, dude. I go it's in there. For <laughs> the, the, the thing for me though brain, is like, why why don't you want the cups like push back with other challengers, Doug? The reason like, I don't want the cups not, pushed back. It's not them complaining or whining or I, fucking I being soft. I think he thinks his team's ahead. I think if that's the reason. If it's truly like a challengers and like a path to pro and stuff like that, like, you... and you want to show like that you guys are nasty and should be next up, like you should be wanting to do that on a polished game, not like some unpolished. I'm looking at it like, I, I, why, why did I get invited like, to this chat? Why, why the fuck am I in here? Like, let, let, let Pat respond. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I'll let Doug respond. Look, the way I see it, man, and you guys could hate me all you want. I really don't give a fuck, honestly. <laughs> First of all, that's number one. I couldn't give a fuck less if anyone hates me. If you guys couldn't tell, because I'm so blunt. But 
Um, obviously, like Tom, <laughs> what you say, I, I agree with what you say, and I respect you. You are credible. You have one. You are the one player in challengers who truly deserves a chance in the league. Hundred percent. You've you. won. Of course, you've won more than just about damn near. I don't know what your like accolades are, but I think you might be the most winningest player, if not like top three. So you should have That's had a guess. chance in the league at this point. It's the truth. So I agree with a lot of the points you say, but I think a lot of the players in challengers are just in this mindset of looking at the absolute worst case scenario for everything all the time it's super negative and yeah like idealistically pushing the cups back and waiting for the game to be polished would be amazing right but I agree. we can't we can't trust the developers clearly because we just had like a three hour rant on how the developers aren't supporting the game that we should think that they should be supporting it so i think it's just a matter of dealing with it because that's what we're accustomed to and we can't change the fact that they're not giving the support to the game that we've tried to get for the last pat how long has it been how many uh, over sure. a decade pat like since what how long has it been since we've been complaining i remember when we were 15 years old going to amusement parks with the mod talking about how we wish we had certain things in the game i'm now 27 i could have a family and we're still talking about the same shit like at, at what point do we just say oh, I dude know. i gave up yeah, there's like certain things like, dude, Tom, the control can't be played. He just wants to fucking, you know. But what are we going to do? We're just, just going to wait and hope up. that they're going to fix the game for us? Or are we just going to go out and play the game? I mean, obviously, you can you can hope that they're going to fix the game. I mean, We're hoping for a developer that hasn't showed and... us communication to fix something and just not knowing when it's going to be fixed. And I agree. It's just like the only thing is I feel that, you know, the, the competitive rule set could be more polished, you know? That and there's still no anti-cheat. Like, that is... Like there, I feel like the is, biggest issue for these cops. People like, can cheat. We had that last year people too. People can cheat. Hold on. Yeah, and that's people that's, can you know, my team was cheating frenzy. the entire year. No, okay, but what I'm saying I'm is people. Not, I'm not talking about like anti-cheating, wall hacking. <laughs> people can good. people can legitimately use banned items that aren't yet banned in game and get away with it because there's no way to know if someone's using vital or frenzy or yeah. whatever the attachments are. That's, in my opinion, one of the biggest problems. Until and people those worry are about ATS in game, or there's a way to know. I mean, no, ATS isn't as big as a problem as these things. I agree. Okay, I agree so with you. I, I agree with the sentiment of pushing it back just because I would have to assume that these restricted items will at some point hopefully soon be restricted. But, I mean, you're right. Who the fuck actually knows? But I am Not optimistic to okay, from so what I've seen a lot first. too is people had plans around the initial schedule to go home or to do this to do that. Yeah, and that, yeah you guys, that you guys changes realize, shit too. You guys realize Christmas is coming up too, right? That's like yeah. a two week break for these studios. Well, I feel Damn. bad for players like Hixie. Nothing's gonna change. So Hixie yeah. is Toronto sub and he has to now stay. Well, that's in why the, I'm saying that's why like, I don't understand why it just. It should I just start doubt after the holidays. Yeah, it should start I, after the holidays. Yeah, I don't understand how that's such a problem. That's if we I'm had saying. a developer come out and say, like, uh, publicly, wherever it is, like, hey, listen, we understand there's issues with our game. We have to get these things fixed. There's a less, like, I mean, there's a there's a pretty big list of bugs, right? Like, we could all, there's just bugs that just well, another, shouldn't be there. Another point is, Doug, sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, but, like, we were just talking about how we need, like, things to show off in the life cycle on, like, multiplayer. These CDL challengers tournaments are going to be, like, the actual first, like, CDL sanctioned competitive tournaments, and I don't think this version of the game is the version that we want to show off right now. Bro, so when does the league start? Well, the thing is, five well, weeks? The thing, the, Doug, the, the thing that Doug's point, he's saying, like, all right, we don't play them now. What if January comes? And we're still playing the same shit, unpolished I mean, game. Like, we might as well play it in December. But that it's just is like, what it is. That's his point, which I understand, but it's just yeah. like... But the bottom line for me is, like, dude, like, Tom makes a lot of great points, and I think he's a great spokesperson for challengers. But, like, realistically speaking, we got to we gotta stop looking at it with our emotions and looking at it with the facts. The fact is the developer doesn't respond to us quickly. The fact is we know the company is going to take off the entire month of December. I know how... How this thing works no one's working for this whole month so all these little bugs and issues maybe a few of them will get fixed at the best and then third what are we going to do wait until january wait until mid-january wait until like is the league going to get hey, you're pushed not back? wrong dude, you know wrong. Dude, like, I'm not, i think i think there's... having these and it's it's the bottom line wait. unfortunate thing to deal with but there's going to be these challenger tournaments they're going to play out there's going to be some food gaze that happens everyone's going to lose the their word. shit it's it, it, everyone's gonna lose their Yo, shit, Dan. and then it's gonna Yo. it's gonna be brought attention to, and then it's gonna be fixed for the league. That's how it goes. What like, that's just what guys, it is. The guy's name, bro, at um, at Sledge, who we dealt with during the World War Two season. We had like the chat. Audrey? He, no, the the dev that was in the chat with us on the, like the Twitter chat. He was so active and responsive. What was his name? I forgot. I know what you're talking about though. Is yo someone in the chat who's in the league? Is there is there a current chat with a no. dev? 
Yo, I said someone in the league. I, I, but, but I have the answer to your question. The answer is no. There's not a so single. I'm pretty sure they chalked those within the last two years. Who, who's, who's like when those conversations happen? Is that just with like Spencer? No, it no was, well, Spencer no, it would be in the Spencer, chat, but it yeah, would be Spencer and a dev. And he'd and throw then, in a dev. One, and then one player on each team. And I remember in the World War II season, I, I want to say his name was like Risendorf or something like that. Rise, Risendorf. It was something like that. But anyway, my point was he was super active, responsive, and very kind of like, you know, up to date and and on page with with what we with what we were Jesus. saying and talking about oh, and i'm actually really surprised that there isn't one currently because um but i think to uh to jack's point when he was here earlier in the show i think like what we see with the most successful kind of esports uh and some that are successful they do the opposite of this but that's i think an outlier is is having consistent voice user from a communication yeah, standpoint, yeah, yeah, yeah. that should be the fact that they're like you develop those relationships like they make those connections uh and know how to help prioritize the feedback that you guys are sending and you're coming and say hey the thing this is this thing's wrong here's a fix they'll go and and now you've given them the ammo to go in and make internal changes like that that communication at two-way comms it seems like it's not happening here i'm pretty sure the chat we had in black ops or wasn't even matt it was even someone else too yeah it was that guy, it's a good guy too but i'm yeah. talking about for world war ii yeah i don't remember the world war ii guy oh, I, found, I found him i found him i found him i'm not gonna say his name on the uh on the stream but i'll i'll dm it to you yeah, guys and Zen. I'm also, um, uh, I'm in the challengers uh, chat now. I don't know how the fuck oh, I ended up. Oh, uh, good luck, Tom. I don't know how I ended up in here. That's I don't know. That's some good entertainment. That, that provides <laughs> some good I literally typed reads. in here. I typed in here. I said, yo, what the fuck am I doing in here? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> and y'all just start spamming laugh my ass off. Yo, like, check your, uh, check, check your, check your DM. Yeah, uh, I just peeped. Yeah, that, that's him. Um, I even know this is like a thing. Let me see. Who, guys, who's do this? Do you guys remember him? Oh, you, oh! It might have been attached. I don't know this guy. I don't know team. this guy. Yeah, it probably was attached. It was your team's rep, but um, but yeah, no, he did a he did a great job during World War II of like if yeah. he found a small bug or an issue or a weird spawn point, he would want the clip and and he addressed them pretty fast. But I'm actually really surprised that um that there isn't that now. Don't you think, Pat, well, and going back to this, go back, I'm sorry to cut you off, Ben, what, real what, quick, but... No, let, me go, let me go first real quick. Go ahead. Wasn't Ray also working for Sledge at that time, too? Uh, it was the end point. He had, like, I think just... Uh, right. Yeah. He, he helped, obviously, worked on the game, but I think during the year, um, he was kind of in the transition phase out. I'll yeah. do it to you, too, Ben. Are you going to say, don't we all think? Don't we all think, like, I look at that World War II year, that was my first year after not playing for three years, and the game was super polished for competitive outside of not having a trophy system, but I just remember towards the end of the year, Blast and Dash, World War II. It's phenomenal. It was a yeah, great game. Yeah, so I remember Blast and Dashy grinding ranked with a BZ, like, all the time, and they were always talking about how he was always on ranked, and then I started playing ranked with Ricky, because he's my teammate, and I'm like, dude, this is actually really addictive. Like, and I, I would want to grind to be number and, one. And I think that's fair. I mean, I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem. It's a fair conversation, but I also want to flag that I sat around in a lot and a lot of green rooms during the year, and there were a lot of people complaining about the game. I want to say that opinions have kind of shifted on what we're doing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I also rooms, want to say the casters didn't like casting it because it was yeah. boring. No, no, I'm not talking about the game. About, the game did not look good, and the game did not did not fucking the game didn't look good. It was gray. It was obviously a meta overhaul that made it like. worse. Bro, I saw Maven and Merc aren't even casting. They you saw their tweets. Bottom bottom line, that happens every year. They always do that. They're not casting next year. Well, well, no, I saw something on Reddit. They're not signed yet. That happens every year. They're not signed yet. Yeah, oh, yeah. Every year. yeah so don't you think that everything Courage said earlier, plus having a ranked mode like World War II in every Call of Duty would just be everything you need to make the game amazing? Or like, regardless of the maps or the glitches or silent plants and damage maps, whatever, but if we had a rank system at launch, plus every, just copy and paste what yes. Jack said, Back that would be everything yes. we need, right? That's yeah. it? All right. Great. But, but I'm just happy we could all agree on something. But back to the World War II thing. <laughs> I think that was an issue. The game was competitively sound. It was a very good competitive game. It was fair. It, it had very limited issues, but it didn't look good. And people Fortnite didn't like that. People didn't like. You know, people it started caring about colors because of Fortnite, right? Oh yeah, the vibe. People didn't. People didn't care about that shit previously. But I also think that TS era, looks dry that, as fuck, bro. Come on, man. Even, like, get even the fuck with, out of even here. Even with Vanguard too, though. I think that the era of like the old-timey yeah, yeah, kind of theme yeah. is also very played out and i think yeah, that's just so that's all, like, like listen bro people in the chat are gonna say that shit to ask y'all didn't like watching it but let's be real you also didn't like it because optic didn't win bro 
Like, yeah, my, my bad for that colors, chat. Bro. My bad for that chat. <laughs> that's just that's I'm just the truth, bro. I'll take my Mickey Mouse championships. I'll take my missing Mickey Mouse championships on World War Two. But like, wait, no, on, your man. team was one of the best teams ever played yeah, on land. That yeah, Thomas Slasher team, just, AR duo. Say, Jesus. You know, I was sitting in uh, in the pro. No, and people Pat's, did bitch, Ben. When, when like, Pat's team okay. was, was doing work at Seattle, saying some things that are different from now. That's all I'm saying. Oh, the, shit. The shift a little well, bit. That, that's also unfair because Seattle was the bar meta that we had to nerf after. And I think a lot yeah, of people kind of gave, gave us yeah. credit or gave us um, complaints because we were using the long barrel bar at Seattle. And I think that was a lot something that people didn't like. Yeah, I got you. But even though right your, your team used it, every team used it, we were just really Wait, is that why it. you guys were literally unkillable, Dan? Y'all were using long barrel bars? Yeah, shout out to Jesus. Lightning Pandas. Y'all were literally the hardest team I ever played. It was impossible to get kills on Gunless and Slash. Uh, like I just want to address this guy in the chat. Uh, before World War II, I won in Black Ops 3. I won in AW, uh, IW, so you can hold my... Uh, yeah. Let him hold fucking know, Dan. Sack. Let him fucking know, Dan. Let him know, Dan. Let's go, Dan. These Let's guys go, always run in their mouth. They and then after that, quick, I did get Dan. smoked. But even in Black Ops 4, I reached a grand final. So, again, hold my sack. They're still Dan, a champion, They, they though, forget, Dan. Dan. They forget quick. Yeah, you know what forget. I'm saying? Yeah. Dog, they forget about you, too, Doug. They be forgetting about you, Doug. These fucking, Listen, fucking people, bro. Gotta, gotta keep recency bias. I don't intact, have a man. ring. You're, you're completely right. Mm -hmm. But listen, is there anything else that you guys want to make public about the flank? He or I about the flank, not the I'll... flank, about Vanguard. Excuse me. If there's anything about the flank, go ahead. Say like, yeah, one Nick, more, you stop me talking. One go more ahead, thing about the challenges <laughs> thing, and then I'm going to hop out of here. Go it's ahead, just, Tom. you know, there's still one league spot available, and, you know, a is challenger's team is probably going to get picked up from that, like, you know, from or for that. And I just think the, you know, the first couple tournaments of the year are going to dictate who gets that spot, and I just want the game to be in its most competitive well, I mean, state. it also dictates who uh cdl teams pick up as their sub right which have, we've also seen has a great impact That's exactly correct. so i want you know the most competitive game that we can possibly have preferably with three game modes for the, these first couple of you know, challengers events. Yeah, that, I mean, Tom, that would that's be a great. Point. That's a great point. I just realistically, I just can't see any world where we have a polished third game mode in a best of five series yeah. within the next four weeks. That's tough to fucking hear, but it's just right. it's just an opinion, I guess, right? <laughs> I, I, but I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, though. I agree. Know. It's all love. A good appearance, Tom. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen, wait, 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 I'm, wait, not, wait, I'm not really question. disagreeing with Doug to, here, man. I kind of agree Tom, with him. To Tom and Doug, if the if it was announced. T tomorrow that there was not going to be a 12th team just if it was announced official is only 11 would your guys opinion change on the cup being this weekend or not no um i mean well, yeah i wouldn't, I wouldn't really care you know it, okay. it, is, it is what it is it's probably chalk for the rest of the year anyway so okay so that that's the main reason why the challenger community doesn't want the cup because that obviously those implications are very very it's life -changing important for some of those people yeah for sure it. But uh, that's where my point is. If if that was announced that there was no 12th team this year, it was only 11 confirmed, set in stone, then there would no longer be an issue. No, nah, right? I think the actual issue lies, Pat, is that they released the schedule, people made plans accordingly, and then they re they pushed everything back, and that affected people's plans. That's another. I know that's another reason I saw on Twitter for uh -oh. like them wanting talking, to delay, from the like Spaniard the and, well? and stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel bad for anybody that's you know kind of getting screwed by that, but mm -mm. you know. Also, feel for um, I don't know if you guys saw. Does the like do the kids in Japan even have a league? Do they even have like they're not allowed to play COD, a ladder? Right? I don't think they're allowed to well, play anymore. I, I think they, they don't know how to play COD. No, they they probably got some they're, nasty players down there. No, they, they well, Japan's the, always had like the a weird... same one with the Australia. It, yeah, Australia but I, think was, I don't think it's it I got don't bad, think they're, right, Tom? Yeah, I don't think they're in anymore. They got banned. Oh, really? they, they removed it? They just have yeah, got removed. European. So the, the game I was oh, just like Japan's always had more of like a third party partner league, correct? There was always like sort of a side competition going on there. I, I thought I thought, I thought they so. could always play in the Australian New Zealand region. Am I wrong? They were eligible to, I think it's changed this year. ANZ, ANZ, but I wonder if that's now changed on game battles. Oh, okay. I, know, I, I, remember, saw I remember they did in previous today. years, they played in ANZ. Also, I have no sure, but I think it changed for had, game battles. I don't know. They also had like a Japan specific like third partner league. Like I know Tommy watched on stream last year with the uh, city of New York and all the other guys. So I, I mean that's a that's a region that we'd love to see more support from COD. I know like I know uh, I think, I think Latin America needs to get support. Latin too would also be great. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, I, think, I think I think that was like back in the CWL of like Nations League. I think that was one of the goals there was also to drive more support in the Americas. I mean, another bigger picture. I mean, you guys kind of talked about, but like, but what Pat said, like America needs support first, just because. I mean, if there's not a challenger scene, then who's the next pro? If they're just everyone just switching to Warzone. That's gonna kill the league I, I, as well. I think that's gonna be a realistic uh, outcome in the next six months to a year. I feel like I feel like most competitive people don't like Warzone though. Like a lot of they people, they don't. They don't, but they will be but, the best at it. But when when they look at it, and you know, they have to start making life decisions. Like Warzone might have to be. I mean, I, I, Jerry's one of them, right? Yeah. yeah. But he already said, like, I mean, there's just too much money in Warzone to pass up to go to such a broken like league that challengers is. And I, and yeah, I think, and I think a majority of good competitive players will succeed in Warzone, like by default. Like yeah. Rated and Tommy and yeah, like instantly. So if like you're that. even if you're not the, the best hardest player, part about Warzone you're, is you're getting in the invite list, right? Pools. Exactly, but they're guaranteed once prize to, pools. Yeah, once you get into that invite list, shit, I'm doing I'm doing Warzone flanks. I just did. I just did a Halo flank. We just did one with the Halo guys. Wait, yo, Tom, but... have you been playing in challengers longer than uh, Tristan Spoof? Um, no, that's, a that's not good right. question. I, I mean, I have. started. I started competing in World War Two. Uh, that's not and right. Okay. Challengers okay, no, became a no, thing no. right after that. So, well, yeah. So he, he, I know he had been playing since like IW at least. But anyway, my point was, I saw that he finally decided that he is moving to Warzone. So, I was yeah, yeah say that. you know, it's. I, did I feel like he's I'm probably one of the longest like standing the... ones because he was on the. Yeah, Allegiance he was in next. challenges can I, for can me. Can I say this just to select Lola, you, Pat? I want to say this though. In the challenger scene, that you know, like oh, it's been gone. They, about... they, we feel like we're so close to the league, but so it's like hard to make that switch right now. Yeah, you know? no, you absolutely are. But the, the problem with that is that relies on Activision expanding the league, and that's the biggest issue. Is yeah, because I, I fully I fully agree. There's a lot of spots in challengers or in players who would instantly get on spot teams, but it, it it's out of your control because it relies on Activision, and that's the shittiest part of challengers right now. Is if the league doesn't expand, which what is it? You're Three now, I think. Yeah. And we've kind of gone, we've gone backwards in player yeah, we spots because we went five v five, right? Twelve v twelve. Yeah. Twelve teams five v five, which is sixty spots, to twelve teams four v four, to now eleven teams four v four with a pending spot. Um, I think that's the biggest issue is you, you're fighting a hump that is out of your control because you have to wait on Activision to expand. Exactly, and you know, Warzone's just sitting right there. You know, I know it could be gone yeah, like a Warzone. Warzone I just got 200k yeah. prize pools just if it's, you can get whatever amount of kill, like and Warzone, it's tough decisions, and Warzone. And obviously, it's you know, the, the love and the passion for competitive Call of Duty in its nature, and you know, being a fan first, and then you know, grinding my way to the top pretty much. Yeah, and that's having no, some it's, good it's relationships for sure. It's, that's why that. people like that's why people like Tom. It's like, dude, this guy's won more than anyone, and like his whole team got called up last year, except for him. Like, I think about that thought a lot. I'm like, okay, so I can literally you... win and not get a call up, not get a sub spot, not get an opportunity. So it's like when people are like, oh, you've been in challenges for X amount of time. It's like, dude, you gotta understand, like the chances of being in the league are so slim, and you just have to keep on pushing forward, many, and you have to keep many... on winning. How many of your teammates that got called up are still in the league? And this isn't like a dagger any of them. I'm just curious of the... Um, I, I mean... I mean, Sim, yeah. Sim, Selium... Oh, no, I thought you were talking about just uh, last uh, year. We, we can we, go... We're counting we can go down. We can count. We can count. I mean... No, no, no I meant definitely your, like your challenger team that was, like, really good last year that won the first couple cups. Oh, I mean, none of them. Zero. Was... Oh, is it not? I didn't know. Yeah, their all team was not. I wasn't, well, that's what I was saying. I wasn't point, Tom, saying, I mean, like, dagger anything. If you anything, want to talk about it, like, I, you guys did try and pitch that team to CDL franchises this year, correct? Some version of your team from last year? Uh, yes. You know, it wasn't in the cards, oh, it seems. And there were, there were team, there were orgs that went another direction there. So, I mean, I think it's, it's unfortunate. It's more and that's another level. issue in itself, too, is the, I guess I'm just not going to get into that. Never mind. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead, Pat. Uh, I was not gonna say. No, nah, we'll keep him out. Mm. Uh, we're gonna save him for the next one, Pat. Yeah, we'll save As him for the next one. As the new co-host of the flame. Oh, what oh. an announcement! Congrats, Pat. Congrats. <laughs> no, I you got big shoes to fill, buddy. Yeah, Pat, Pat's, Pat's looking to come on, right, Pat? You want to come on a little bit? I think I could uh, fill Big Ben's shoes a you little bit. You think you could okay, fill okay. Big Ben's shoes a little bit, Mister Patty P? Yeah, I heard they pay. I heard they pay, Pat. You oh, what? We, we, they we pay, just bro. we out. We're we're starting to pay out to the co-host for sure. 
Oh yeah, he offered me a six-figure contract. It was, a <laughs> big time. it was big time. Jesus, they know to the to the Wu Mafia. Listen, shout out to my man Pat, man. Uh, obviously, to, I thought today was a good ass show. I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to talk about. Honestly, the show has been ranty. You should probably. That's what I'm up. saying. I feel like we should end it here. Uh, but make sure to like how long comment. How the show? I have no idea. I've been like three let's hours. Let's talk about how long this Yeah, hold on, hold on. It's 10 30, so two and a half hours. Let's end it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're watching uh, on YouTube. Make sure to go to anchor.fm slash the flank. Ben, you got this one? What? Now you keep doing the outro. It no, 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 no. I'm, ta no, I'm talking yeah. about the anchor.fm slash the flank. You know what I'm saying? You you uploading that? Or should I get somebody oh, we, else on that? No, no. We already, we already delegated that. Someone on your team does that. Mm -mm. Oh, we, oh, we already got that. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, once ago, Tom. Okay, so we go. Go to anchor.fm slash the flank to go make sure uh, you know you guys can see all the audio sites that we're on. Make sure to uh, uh, follow the stream if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitter at Zumo Two A's uh, if you haven't done that already. Yeah, anybody want to shout? I man, Doug. Uh, he joined us on camera today. Doug, you want to hit us with some with some pull ups or some shit? Let's get it, bro. Cause, cause, yo, this, hey, is, this is dedicated. Okay. Yo, this right here is dedicated to Parasite, bro. This guy loves me. Woo! Oh, okay. okay. No oh, way, dude. Shit. No. How many should I do for Haggy? Wait, you have a wireless headset talking yeah, he to us right now? Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, how many, how many should I do for Haggy right now? Let's get him motivated. Let's go. Yo, this is the equivalent uh, of Ben's play. You gotta do 50. 50. How this many has he done? How many has there's he no done? Way you could, there's no way you could do 50. Can you? 50 is a lot, uh, man. 50, 50 is, is a lot. Like almost humanly impossible. 50 is crazy. Dude, you sound uh, nice and calm, though, Doug. I'm gonna be honest. You sound good. I do about Feeding's 50 good. pull ups every day of my life for the last 10 years. Ah, oh, so this is light work right, for you. Uh, Wait, the last I think 10 that makes years. 100. Yeah, for yeah, the last 10 years. I've been working out for 10 years. Mm -mm. February 15, nah, 2022 nah. will be 10 years in the gym every day. Jesus that's fucking that's Christ. What say. That's respectable, Doug. Every we year is in two months from now. Yeah, every day. I never miss a day. We might need to add a third camera to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Doug Sensor Martin. Look at this fucking guy. He's a fucking animal. Listen, we're going to end it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to Doug. Wait, Shout hold on. Before we, before we end it, can Go I ahead. have a request? Of course, co-host. Of course. Ben, Ben, can you hop on Discord and get the putter out for the one time? Oh, oh shit. Ben, Wait, can I hop on and Ben hop on? Can we put Ben on here? Right. Yeah, yeah, we can get Ben on here. We can get Ben on when here. When Ben's sure. ready, I'm going to hop off this because Ben needs I, to I had to grab my putter out of my bag real quick. But I'm going to call Tom. Oh, off oh, the bag. He was in the actual shit. field. Ben no, wasn't I'll, ready I'll for this. Nah, I was playing golf. Uh, no way. LA. No way. The final oh, putt? He has to hit it. There's so much pressure on the you, The final putt, bro. The final putt at a He's bend not. Is, the final is that the it's final, final putt? We're, we're doing no. another show, like, in the next couple of days. Yeah, we no, are. In the chat, it's the final putt. So you just won't put on the next show. As of as of January 1st, Ben Ben is leaving. You know how MJ had the last dance documentary? What if Ben had a documentary? Yeah, the he, final should. Putt. he should do one. He should do one. As well, I'm a, my camera produced by O. Roger. Ben told me as of January 1st, Tom. As of January 1st, that's when it begins. Oh, wait, I Ben's said, sketching Dan. on you, dude. He's sketched on. It's Rossimania with the flame. And, and Dan, no one, want to know the worst part? Everybody thought I fired Ben. That was the whole fucking thing for a week. Yeah, like Clay's over here t is fucking telling the chat um, that I told the dev to suck my dick. Like, dude, what's good with the guy? People be assuming. Joe, wait, Clay, Clay was out of pocket with that. <laughs> <laughs> Looney fucking tell us like, that damn, Clay. Clay. like Jesus Go ahead Ben go do what you gotta do You know what I'm saying we'll wait here all day For the final part no, I'm just kidding it's not the final one though But dog how's everything else been going man You been on the jet ski at all no it's been too cold for that Dude Tom I've been so happy because The whole house renovation is done Just got my blood work and my physical for my doc done Perfectly healthy nice, my family man. My mom my stepdad and my sister all got in car accidents Over the past three weeks Oh I'm sorry to hear that bro Thank well, I appreciate it. They're all good. So they're healthy. I'm healthy. I'm happy. My dogs are happy. Team's doing great. Um, just living my best life, Tom. I'm Hell just yeah, really bro. happy, honestly. Let's go. Uh, Doug, did, did, just to clarify, on your three hundred thousand dollar house renovation, was that all total? Everything you did from start to finish, your renovation? It's it's hard for me to say a specific number because it's been four years and I kind of lost track. But I'd say gotcha. at least three hundred, maybe a little more. How much were the solar panels specifically? Like fifty three thousand dollars. What? That's a lot. Yeah. Solar is that expensive? Yeah, bro, it's expensive. Hey, Doug, how do they work? So you buy them. You could you could lease them if you want to, but I'd rather just buy them in cash because yeah. you get huge tax incentives for it, and then you make your money back after like six or seven years. And if you sell the house within that time, you could add the price of the panels on top of the home. So you're not losing in any way that you see it. Yeah. So it's great. Wow. This part? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, you gotta give me a call on Discord, Ben. I I already called you on Discord. You just. Right, should I back out now? Yeah, yeah, D Doug. We we'll get you back in though.
No, 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 it's all good. Put th this is Ben's moment, not mine. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ben J to seem. Let's we gotta fix this camera. Yeah, we here. need we need to make sure you know he he, he backs up though. Yeah, Ben, you gotta hit a fucking banger for us right now, Ben. A, a banger. banger, a banger, dude. A Yo, banger. how about this one, bro? Close your eyes when you uh, once you line it up. Close my eyes. No. Yeah, yeah, we gotta add a challenge, bro. Look at this guy, bro. MJ made a free throw closing his eye. Wait, Ben, we can't see you. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta so, do uh, this. You gotta, you gotta fix the zoom properly on, on my screen. Hold That's on. what I'm doing, bro. You gotta give me a chance to fix it, man. Damn, bro. This guy quits on me and then he's yelling at me. No way. I can't believe this shit, Tony. That's a Len. Uh, it's my fucking guy, though. It's my fucking guy. Ben did it. Say, let's uh, give it up. Say, they shit, Ben. Thank you for the final part. He'll be doing a lot more, ladies and gentlemen, but we're just milking it at this point. We're kind of going with the gimmick here. Okay. That's going to be the that's gonna be the title of the Every video. Every time. Here he goes. He the strikes it. He, he makes the final putt. He makes it. Let's go, me he can't, You're telling oh, me he can't close his eyes and make that? God. Yes. When, so, Ben, you're oh telling me you can't close your God. eyes and make that? Uh, I, pr I probably could. Exactly. Like, come on, man. Ben Jane is seem, ladies and gentlemen. This guy he almost showed his dick on stream. Hey, we don't talk about that. Oh, <laughs> believe. <laughs> he was getting a handful. Oh, my God. Ben, <laughs> fix your microphone. Fix you your mean? microphone. I want you to oh. say goodbye to everybody before I end the show. Well, I appreciate all the guests that uh, came on today. It was definitely a lit show. We had people come through, people that aren't in the room now. Shout out Hitch, shout out Jack. Shout out Tom Gravy for coming on after Doug called him out. Shout out Doug, shout out Zinn. Uh, we had Dan, A.K. Looney, and Pat that came through as well. We had, like, this is the most guests around the show. Yeah, we, we had, had a lot, lot of people come on. on. A lot of people come on, bro. So shout out to all yeah. those guys for sure. Um, I think uh, Tom, we're gonna probably do a show, another show this week. I think, right? Yeah, Cover that's fun. the goal. We have a special guest that might want to be coming on, and uh, we're gonna ask him some questions. So just stay tuned to that. Not sure if that's official yet, so I don't want to announce it. I hope, I hope it happens. Um, but yeah, Ben, Ben will still be on the flank, guys. Just not as often as as you would think, because you just very busy at esports engine, Ben. I'm I'm crazy busy right now. My work schedules. Yeah, super busy. It's so it's shots right now. So but, talked right now for Ben Genesim, but uh, Ben's, Ben's a busy guy nowadays. Look at him. Yeah, yep. Ben Ben's a busy guy, but the flank will go on. And, and shout out again to Patty P and everybody who came on, and and the Dan and Parasite, the future co-host, Mr. Doug Sensamar, and everybody. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one, man. Stay tuned. I'm always streaming, by the way, guys. If you guys are just want to <sighs> chill out on Twitch, I'm streaming all the time over here. So make sure to come show some love, follow the stream. I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Later. Peace. Uh, later, brothers.